We are the live boys. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's on. Oh, there it is. Showing up. Well, time to check the chat. Well. So, Techie, what have you got for us today? Now that we're live. Also, hello, audience. Hello. Well, hi, audience. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hey, hey, audience. Um, we're still in the middle of setting up, but this should be okay. Hopefully, the fan noise isn't too much. What fan noise? Yeah, you can't hear anything, Tech. Yeah, it's actually not that irritating. I'm just, I'm just loving that raptor you've got, Techie. Is that the uh, Robo Raptors? Oh, I love those things. They're like from 2000 and like, like what? 2010? I think so. I kind of, I kind of had like a miniature. I don't know how cheap them, but I've always wanted, wanted them to be a Dinobot in Mike Bay's uh, movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> They got it. They had an Xbox 360, so uh, you got to calm down, man. Right. Oh, uh, so, Techie, oh. what are we going to do with these lovely pieces of ancient techno technology? Technology? <laughs> what are we going to do with these technologies? Simple. We're going to smash them. No. Cool. By the way, track score 100. Uh, Jetstream is not here on the stream, sadly. Yes. Sorry, she oh. isn't here. Sorry, track score 100. She is not here. Only us and Techie. This is my this is my first time being on, on even on being on this channel. Oh, hi, audience. I know I said that earlier, but still. This is my first time even being on a stream on this channel. Cool. Same. Did anyone see what see this one I got yesterday? I'm not gonna go down for again. What what did you get, Jericho? Yeah. Okay, Thraxo. So hey girl. Hi. Hmm. Oh, hello. There's the Terry the King here. A what? A new person in the, in the in the chat there. Hello. Hello. What's up? Hello there. You are a bold one, General Kenobi. <laughs> yes. Okay. Enough Woo! talk about enough talk about that. We need to talk about uh, uh, techie stuff here. Yeah. Um, Jackie, no. I have a question. What is this white blue box here? Yeah, or what he Wait, can he not he's... hear us? I feel like he's talking, but he can't he hear us and we can't hear him. I think he muted us. Oh. Uh, it looks like Thrax go 100. I'm literally watching the us. watching the stream and he, he and I can't what? even hear him talk. Nope. Okay, let's try now. There we go. Oh okay. Geez. Right. That makes a lot more sense. Sorry, my audio program crashed on me. So I'm wondering why you guys oh. are talking oh, over wow. me. Okay. I was actually starting to say some swear words at you guys. So sorry. I'm gonna calm down for a second. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we well, I think we deserve an apology. Thank you very much. You didn't hear anything. Yeah. Maybe even the speed as so well. It's so hard for to know that you were swearing at us. Okay, guys, I'm gonna narrate okay, a bit. Okay. okay, first off, who the heck is playing Mario Kart? Got I didn't it. hear that. Okay. Leaves me. Terry, why are you playing Mario Mario Kart? In All the right, so what's with this T-Rex? Okay, um, it's, just, it's just pressing dots of mine. Oh, I'm gonna watch for you. Actually. We'll call him Bob. 
All right, Bob, prepare to be dissected. Okay, guys. <laughs> right, remember the printer I took apart last time? Uh, you mean the old one that you really don't want? Yeah, and I tore it down and all that. I figured yeah. I have not done exactly a lot with the parts, but I have built a few things with the parts. So I figured yeah. I'd show them first before, you know, going ahead and tearing down more things. Okay? Ah, a live execution. Lovely. <laughs> Yay! Jesus Christ, Quiver, is that all? Jesus Christ, Nindrago, is uh, that Techie, all? I do have another question. That? You always have a question, Nindrago. Yeah. Uh, first off, why I didn't is that say you could pale? ask it. Oh. Uh, also, why is that pale, like, that little tray of water? Well, it's for showing one of the things I've built. Oh. So, you know, letting Techie finish his introduction thing that he's been rehearsing for the last few hours to himself might lead to, you know, you guys finding things out. Okay. Ah! Anyway, one of the things I've actually built for myself is this drill press so I can start doing <laughs> custom circuit boards. You may not recognize it, but the steel rod and some of the screws in that actually went into building this. So, yes, I know, very impressive. Ooh, very. Well. If there was power. And I didn't bring my copper board. Oh my god! Ouch! Ouch! But it will engrave into metal. So I can use it for drilling into metal, into some metals, into circuit boards, and basically I'm gonna eventually be able to make my own circuit boards and such using this. Okay? That's cool. Nice. It's, it's actually very it useful. Like Terry just got hit by a red shell. Whoop, well, whoop, I've turned Terry right down, so I don't know what he's doing. This is the other thing I built, which is okay. a pump. Now, this motor runs on 30 volts. The problem is I only have a 12 volt power supply, so it's not going to be nearly as powerful as it could be. I'm just making sure you guys can see. Okay, good. Now, sadly... I'll have to try and do this in a rather hard part way. You see, not as powerful as it could be. Uh, all it did was make a few bubbles. Really? Oh! You can call that a few bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> now it's as you made a little water gun. Well, it's actually a water pump. It's for for pumping out my broken aircon. I just figured I'd show it off because oh. it, it's way more powerful than I expected. So, if this doesn't shift water, nothing will. In fact, the wow, suction is so, could... is so powerful it will actually stick to the bottom of the container if you're not careful. And start trying to rip itself yikes. apart. Ah, uh, yikes. So, you yeah. You staring like yeah, and now to clear up the water before it gets on my bed. Because believe it or not, this is not actually a desk. I don't want wet dreams that badly. Yikes. Yeah, I know, terrible. But, I... I don't know, they were little things, but it's kind of... I want to show that even some of the basic parts I got, I still found uses for. You know, metal rod here, a motor there, and I was already, with my 3D printer, able to reprint and build on these things. So, you know. I see. And, you know, some of the things I actually found out when I tore down and looked down, looked at the parts, like, some of those motors are about um, $20 worth of electronics. Like, if I had to buy them brand new, it would have been about 20 bucks. For some of those motors. They're really powerful motors. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. How about it? So you know. Basically... Oh. So. But understand that that printer itself. Probably cost. Cost someone like. Maybe $80 back, back in the day. 
So eighty dollars for that nice brother printer that I've just torn down, and well, for me to get my own drill press, I would have had to probably pay about fifty dollars at the hardware store. Um, uh, for that water pump, uh, I actually checked with the local pump supplier. A small pump would have set me back about fifty dollars. So for the price of one printer, I got about yeah, roughly a hundred bucks worth of stuff. Now, anyway, what I'm going to be tearing down is first off, hey Angel, um, this thing, which is called a UPS. It's an unstoppable power supply. Now, usually, Wait, why are you tearing? Why now, tear this thing down? Uh, because a friend gave it to me. He works at a school. And they purchased this back in 2013, so it's nearly 10 years old. Nearly 10 years old, it's about 7 years old. It stopped working. They can't fix it, they haven't even tried, because these things are about eh, 100 bucks. You know, they're not that expensive. I tried to get it work working, but, you know, it's, it's like, is it worth going through that effort? So it's like, well, I, there's parts in it that I want, so I'm going to tear it down anyway. Um, I use UPSs all over my, my house because of shoddy power, so, you know. It is, it is unstoppable. Well, given that um, they'll run your computer for a good half hour when the power's out, it's actually really useful. But the main problem about these is oh, they're heavy, really heavy how heavy are we talking how heavy um i would say um well it takes lead acid batteries which literally have lead in them and it has a probably six okay. kilo transformer in there so we're looking at mm -hmm. about 10 10 to 15 kilos it is not a light unit right it's so Yep. A very heavy backup generator. Well, no, it's a very heavy backup battery. It's not a generator. Generators generate power, batteries store power. Okay? Uh... It's a very important distinction. Okay. Now, I've tried plugging this in, I've tried turning it on, I've checked batteries and all that. I can't get this thing working. And given it's seven years old, and I can buy a new one for a hundred dollars, I'm not panicking about restoring this thing. Now, as always, I got my tray and my rare earth magnet for storing screws. Yeah. Nice. What? What? What, like, what would you think of? Have, have, have you tried asking it why, how it feels? It feels dead. I know how you feel. Oh. Okay, so first thing first, we're actually going to remove the batteries. Now, that's always important to do because... Oh, wow. Um, because it's radiation or... Oh, wait. No, it's lead. It's lead acid batteries. If you store them, if you break them down... If you... Okay. You shouldn't be hearing games in the background because there should be no games playing. Is there? Is there really? Oh no, I didn't hear that. Now, the problem with lead acid batteries is they have really, really corrosive acid. So if you break the casing and that Good. acid leaks all over the place, that's your carpet gone, that's your concrete gone. Eh, you're, you yourself will be fine if you get under enough water and just wash it off really, really well. So basically but, you have a straight hole, you basically have a straight hole to the center of the earth. Well, no, it's not nearly that bad, but it's basically damage you're not going to be able to repair easily. You make it sound like it's alien acid. Yeah, it's it's just lead acid. It'll just stain concrete and burn through carpet. It's nasty stuff. It's the stuff that... Oh, wow, three batteries. Okay, I didn't expect three batteries. Wow. Wait, three? I, only, all I see is two. All we see is two. Give me a sec, and I'll show you. I can hide so, think he does. Three or two. Oh, wow. So you're just taking it apart to be for, for use, for future use, 
Like, yeah. you're gonna use the elements of it from somewhere else, right? Yeah, basically. Oh, what an exciting new gadget will, we, will you make today? Hey, if you gotta be sarcastic then Drago, I can't kick you out. I wasn't being sarcastic, I was just still wondering, like, what kind of gadget oh. will you make out of this? Okay, that slid off. Oh well. These are three lead, bas lead acid batteries, also also known as SLA batteries. Wow. There's three of them. Yep. This thing was was running a school server, so understand that. So exactly. Can they be used? Oh yeah, you can, can they be used, used for these. anything else, Pepe? Okay? Yep. Um, if you know what you're doing, you can run your car off one of these. So there is a twelve. They are usually twelve volt batteries. Yeah, twelve volt batteries. Wow. You can make your own. Um, uh, I know a guy who's been messing around with lead acid batteries for making a spot welder, which is tempting to me because mm -hmm. I want to mess around with spot welding. Oh. But oh, how are you meant to take these apart? Like that's we don't that's, know. that's the other problem. Us. Well, that's the thing. These things are. This is meant to be the easiest part to do. You're telling us. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what you're talking about. We're just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. We don't well, know. Have you tried any... actually listening and not doing what you do in high school and just assuming that teacher's gonna tell you before the test what the answers are? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Oh wow. Okay. I'll give you some idea. This is a metal sheet. Yeah. That's how heavy these batteries are. It's bending metal. Got it. Yeah, oh. Matt, this is some really tell me. You mean to tell me that these batteries are so fat that they can bend metal? Well, they can bend pretty, actually, really, pretty thick aluminum, actually. Okay, extra okay, thick aluminum. Extra oh, but this double-sided tape is something else. I'm going to have to actually have to use my screwdriver and try and wedge. Come on, little baby girl. Tell me you're beautiful. Come on. Be beautiful for me. Come on. Oh, Come on. Be beautiful Come on. for Techie. Don't, but don't embarrass Techie, Mr. Screwdriver. There we are. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. What are these? They're, this is a valve-regulated, sealed lead-acid battery. So, unlike a car battery, where you can, you know, fill up with extra chemicals and all that, it is a 12 watt, 45 watts per cell. Apparently, it will last 10 minutes at 45 watts. So, wow. that's actually pretty good. But, to understand, this is about, eh, I'd say about two kilos. Like, it is it is uncomfortable to hold in one hand, but it's not overly hairy, heavy, but yeah, that's a weight. Um, that said, these batteries might be fine. Oh. Usually you can tell when a lead acid battery is bad because it starts swelling on the sides. And this, well, there's no real swelling. There's, so I guess oh. we're good. No one's getting irradiated. It's not radioactive. But if they are bad, are you, about? I'm you have to take them to a battery disposal place like Battery World or whatever. You, you look it up, and they'll actually take it off your hands for for free. Like seriously, yeah. actually, in fact, often they'll give you a discount on replacement batteries if you give them the old batteries. Because these can be actually broken down at their places and remade into new batteries. For free? Well, usually a discount on your next batteries, but yeah, somewhat for free. Did you just make a Bedtime Stories reference? For free. <sighs> bedtime Stories? Should I? Yeah, yeah Bedtime Adam, Stories. Adam, I like that Adam movie. Sandler, Adam Sandler movie. Uh-huh. Anyway. Oh, yeah. This is... No, I just heard somebody say, for free... And then I immediately recognized the reference. Will you give me that thing? So, for... what exactly are you doing to the battery right now? I'm taking them apart, because storing them like this is not a good idea. I want to store them flat and in a cool place. 
Um, and make sure that those. Please don't. What? So we need a mini fridge. What? Like no, no, mini, cool. Like mini not, fridge. not mini, not mini. cold. Cool. So not in direct sunlight. You can store these in a cupboard if you had to. It's just make sure it's out of direct sunlight. Oh. And uh, exceed sixty degrees, which inside your car. It will exceed 60 degrees, believe it or not, even though the ambient temperature might only be 40. That's called Especially the oven. Especially in Australia. That's called the Dutch oven effect. Or some sort of effect. Something to do with um, heat, heat building up. Yeah. Why would... Okay, oh. now I know a little bit more about Dutch. Well, the Dutch oven... It's basically a stew pot that you cover and let get let stay at heat, and it just keeps the heat in there circulating around and getting hotter and hotter. Uh, sorry. I see. If you look into YouTube chat, the one that says Jackson, that's me. Okay. Uh. Elijah, oh, what am I doing? I'm tearing down a UPS. Then I'm going to be tearing down, hopefully, a laptop if I remember where I placed it. Oh, wait, I see it. And maybe Robo Raptor if I get to it. What I said. Me, what? Bob. I said. Yeah, it's um, not a raining gunballs. In Indeed, Platinum Program. It will what rain I... gunballs. I'm the one who said still in the chat, just muted. Hello. Oh, silly, I'm just watching chat. intensely. I'm talking about oh. Techie, I was oh. literally talking about me. Oh, let's go. What's your question? Hold on. Uh, so, guys, what do you think of Steeljaw from Transformers Prime, R I mean, Transformers R.I.D.? I don't know, guys. What do you think of Steeljaw from Transformers R.I.D.? Uh -huh. I like the design, uh, but I just don't like the person. Uh, this is Techie Stream, so we, I don't think we should answer questions. No, no. It's, it's fine to answer questions. Just try not to dwell off topic too much, because... It is meant to be me talking about parts and what I'm going to use them for. It, it's like if I did a Pokemon stream and everyone suddenly was talking about Digimon, you kind of sit there and go, it's kind of related to what's going on, but the focus should be on the Pokemon, not Digimon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously yeah. some people do get mixed up with those two things. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. And I don't mind just general chatter, it's just don't get passionate about about things. Like, last time I did a Twitch stream, some of you guys got a bit too, you know, going on and on about your OCs. Nah, I can't get those two apart, I'll actually need a knife. But that's fine, they can uh, go my there. Fault. Yeah, it happens. That's why I'm just policing this so hard and having it in its own room, rather than being a general free-for-all. Like, I don't mind with the Twitch stream being a bit of a free-for-all. I kind of found it a bit annoying that I was playing game a game and no one really was paying attention to it, though. Because, like, um, guys, I'm literally playing playing something here. You're meant to be commenting yeah, on that. Yeah, we're just... Yeah, yeah. we're like, okay, yeah, you just play with your fire and dragon or whatever. Let's just talk about charcoal for a second. Okay. What? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. I was just using it like an example. Oh, okay. These are... Okay, I'm not sure if this shows up on camera too well, but these aren't Phillips head screws. They're some sort of star screw, which is why uh, I brought... A plus, a plus sign. Nope, not a plus it's sign. It's a star. Uh, yeah. So it's more these... like an X or a plus sign. Plus X screw. Ah. Nope, plus X are Phillips. Right. Oh. So star means torques. I need to ask. Uh, uh, uh Techie, here's another question that's probably related to the stream. Yeah, yeah. it's actually uh, What happened to your... to your hands? Hmm? What do you mean? Like they're like all your your fa your finger, it's all bandaged up. Oh yeah, um I just got got a bit hurt. That's all. It's nothing major, it's just covered up for the stream, because I'm sure you guys don't want to see a scab. Oh, uh, it's just like, what? As, you, like, as for how dirty my hands are, it's because this has been sitting on my shelf for like, 
six months. You know, um, um, been trying to fix it and not succeeding, and then I just went, screw it. I like doing these techie teardowns, and it seems like the last one, people kind of enjoyed it, so, you know, let's just see how we go. Besides, this thing should have a transformer inside. Uh, oh, here's a here's actually a related question by Platinum Program. He says, Checky, what is the most durable, affordable material to work with? Um, depends on your definition, and then you get into properties. Like, a lot of people swear by acrylic, a lot of people swear by MDF, and a lot of people swear by aluminum. I'm one of those that, um, it just depends on what I want. Like, if I need something that's strong, and durable, I'll probably go with aluminum, but if I want something that's easy to work with and easy to get, I'll go MDF. Because, MD you know, a board of MDF, like a two meter board of MDF, is like um, two dollars. Like, not kidding, you go down to the local hardware, you can pick it up for two, pick up a two meter by two meter board for like two dollars. Acrylic, on the other hand, Acrylic is a bit harder to work with unless you have a heat gun and other tools, but it does produce a nicer finish. MDF does look very cheap as a material. Oh, come on. $2. Really? I could buy a Coke, a mini Coke with $2. Yeah. Well, understand that MDF is a really cheap material. Ah, I might actually keep this. It is solid metal. Actually, I think that's steel. Is it steel? Guys, yes. do you think this is steel or aluminum? Yeah. Um, I think it I might think possibly no. Nope, it's, it's how, steel. How easy? What? Magnets stick to steel. Magnets don't stick to aluminum. Wait, why not aluminum? It's not ferrous. Ferrous is a property of some metals, but not all metals. Like gold isn't magnetic. Silver is a magnetic. Oh. Copper is a magnetic. The precious metals aren't magnetic, but things oh, like iron and iron and steel are. Now oh. we're inside the UPS itself, and oh boy, howdy! Wow. Oh, this by the is... way, I should just meant to point out that gold is no longer with us. He went over this something. I can't see what it is because you said no, nothing related, to, unrelated to you or the stream or anything else uh, here. No, no. Like, what is it? What's wrong? Uh, job opportunity, uh, job opportunity thingy. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. If he has to excuse yeah. himself for the real world stuff, he's allowed to say what uh, it is. Jackie, I have a, okay. What is with the rolls of tape in there? Rolls of tape? Like what do you mean? Stuff. Yeah, they look like look, like ah, rolls of tape in there. These, the yellow rolls of tape, are actually transformers. What are they? They don't transform. Yes, actually. Okay, what's their alt mode? They tra they can transform voltage. Okay, uh... through using EDF. Okay, electric magnetic field. E e EDF. You mean Earth Defense Electro Force? Electromagnets. <laughs> uh, Magnets. Electromagnetic fields. See, okay, this one down here, I, I, because it's okay. the easier one to see, you can see it has this iron, well, iron steel, whatever, cage around it. And what it has is basically two coils. One gets powered with AC, let's say two, 240 volts, because that's what the Australian current is. Australian um, elec electricity is. It's 240 volts a AC. And it'll probably knock it down to 24 volts AC, but massive amperage instead. Or wow. it turns it down to... Or it becomes higher voltage. Like, a transformer can actually go 240 volts to 1,000 volts, but really low amperage. Wow, talk about electricity in disguise. But that's the thing, it transforms <laughs> it. <laughs> See, normally if we wanted to knock voltage and amperage down, we would use resistors. But transformer, on the other hand, transforms it. 
it doesn't lose anything in the transformation, where a resistor gets hot and that excess energy becomes heat. Well, isn't that more than meets the eye? I know you're joking, but yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. What type of motors would you use? You know how there's like toy cars and they're all not controlled? What do you use to send the um the code into the actual car itself from the remote control? Because I've been trying to make one myself, but I've always failed. Sorry, can you repeat that? Um, what do you use for what? what? Yeah, uh, Nindrago, if you what caught what? What type of thing? What type uh, of thing do you use to send like the signals from a remote control to the actual remote control car thing? Because I'm trying to make one and I keep failing. Well, there's now several ways of doing it. The one of the easier ways might be something called RF, which is radio frequency. You can hop on like you know, your local electronics store and get an RF module and stamp code on how to incorporate it into something called an Arduino. And from there, you might be able to, um, yeah go from there. Uh, that said, you can also use, if you want to go cheap, like real cheap, you could go with RF, actually. Oh, uh, sorry, IR, infrared. The problem with infrared is you basically have to point the controller at the, at the signal thing, where RF, you just have to be within the range. So like a cat to a laser pointer. Yeah, actually, oh, yeah, that's the. I'll, that's, go for, I'll go for the cheapest one. Okay. Well, believe it or not, if you have a broken DVD player or a broken stereo or broken VCR, you can grab the RF emitter, I'm sorry, the RF receiver off one of those if you know what to look for, and use that. Oh, that's nice. I'm if going you, to be creating lots from now on. If you want, I can try and procure a few um, IR receivers and IR emitters and show you just a basic way of of doing it. I could do a whole video on it if you like. Yes, please, because I'm a noob when it comes to Minecraft. Hey, oh, same here, actually. i and not so much. Ah, uh, techie teaches. That's that techie. Techie teach. Techie, techie. Te te techie's tech school. Yeah, something like that. Okay, why is this board not coming out? That's a new video idea. I'm padding it. I'm padding it. I'm taking yeah. credit for all of it. Yeah, I mean, it might take me a little while Thank because. Help me so much. It might take me a little while to do it up because I'll have to work out how I'm gonna. Like, I'll do it as a video that you can constantly go back through and read and rewatch parts just in case. Okay. Um but yeah. Thank um, you. Nindrago, do do remind me of, of that. I can't make notes right now. What? Techie teaches school? Te techie teaches techie? I mean techie teaches tech. Ah techie school. <laughs> yes. That techie tech, tech, tech school. school. Right. Yes, oh. I will completely remind you of that. That's a that's a cool video idea. I'm gonna put that on the list of cool video ideas. Make sure okay. you write it down somewhere so you won't forget it. And yes. <laughs> okay. That board is not coming out. Hell That's yeah. annoying. That's often the annoying thing about stuff like this, is trying to work out how to get things undone in that. Ooh. That's a search vector. Alright, for the the RR of doing cheapest. I'm taking the cheapest way. Sorry yeah. if I don't say a lot of things. I just I well, trying to stop. That, that's the. Hey, that's cool. Well, the thing is, um, IR receivers and all that are like a couple of dollars. Like seriously, you can buy a can of Coke for roughly the same price. Actually, you can actually oh, buy a oh, can I... of Coke Mini for that same price. Yeah. Well, actually, can I? Oh. I just don't. I don't live in the USA, oh, uh, so I don't even what, know uh, how much it would oh, be in the oh, UK. Hey, hey, guys, hey I live in uh, Australia, so you know. Yes, so am I. <laughs> platinum. I'm just so am I, Mike. Guys, yeah. Platinum program just got 
God damn it, I'm accidentally showing. Dollars are just like pounds. Yeah. Ninjago. Ninjago. Yeah. So guys, basically, yeah. roughly the price of a cat. Pounds just means something. Platinum program just called it tech. Called it techie tech class. That's all bad. Bad one. <laughs> we'll discuss it later. Okay, guys. Now this is actually a rather interesting part. What is that? It is. A surge protection, but it's also a USB controller. See this chip down the bottom? That tells yeah. this USB plug what information to send and receive. So you see, this thing can be hooked up to a computer, and the computer can go, Hey, what's your status? And it will go, Okay, I need to grab information from the rest of the thing, through this header, from the rest of the UPS, and it'll reply back and go, Hey! Everything's fine, or everything is terrible, or help, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. <laughs> now, what this is here, make sure that doesn't turn off, is a surge protector for networks. Okay? You see, when lightning strikes, it has a bad habit of, well, destroying things. So yeah, you look at Thor. Yeah, he noticed. strikes things and he, and they get destroyed. So this oh, has all I these. my cookies. So all these parts here. Let's just make sure that I'm getting uh, in nice and close. Here. Okay, it's not focusing too job. well. Do anything random. He's busy. Oh. But all these black bits, they're yeah. for filtering electricity to make sure that the signal going through isn't you know going to blow something up. In fact. The idea is that this board should explode before anything else does. Okay? Yeah, but wouldn't it cause like a chain reaction or something? No, that's the point. It blows up so everything else doesn't. Okay. So uh, okay, like a, think of it like a bodyguard. Okay? A bodyguard at the UPS is the president. It leaps in front of the president and takes the bullet. So the president oh doesn't. My God. So it doesn't damage oh, like the rest of the parts. It takes exactly. The damage for it. Exactly. So pretty much, it's the damage so pretty for much it, so the other parts don't this, get hurt. Don't that could be get enough. damaged, so you can still use so, them. So, so it's pretty much. Wait, that, here's the here's my little question. What like, uh, what's the condition of that little bodyguard circuit? Yeah, it looks fine. I'm not seeing anything exploded or anything. So, are we building a transformer? <laughs> not yet. I wish awesome. I was. Although, I'm hoping <laughs> that I can actually pull off data off this chip and hopefully reprogram the USB controller and use it for something else. So, you know, I might be able well, to make my own keyboard recycling. or... Recycling! Yep. Recycling Rec things like this is the best thing you could do to honor one Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm going to so pretty much uh, the whole bodyguard thing is uh, like a uh, it's a protector. So what are you dismantling? What is the object? It's a UPS, an unstoppable UPS. power supply. UPS. The basically this is like the juggernaut of power supplies. <laughs> are you saying a it's a backup. generator? No, it's a battery backup. Battery backup. Okay. But I've not been able to get it working, and it's nearly 10 years old, and honestly, um, it's like, well, I can try and get it working, or I can break it down for the yummy, yummy Transformers. Not the, uh, not the cool, I remember something. Not the cool 80s uh, ones that we all saw. Uh, I, 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 I just like remembered my, my old... Uh, Makeshift machine. It's it's not functional at all. The only thing that could work on the little construction is basically an art project of a destroyed computer. Uh, the only thing I could have could do with it is light it up. I, I just put a light bulb on it, and whoop, I can just plug it into the wall, and there you go, a light. So I had basically a robot art project that could do light. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, 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 no. You know, a, a, a roof light? Like, yeah. you have it on the How ceiling? Get... Basically that. With the plug that goes in the wall, or a lamp. Is, this, just a lamp. Out, is this still on topic? Or... Yep. Just well, lamp. technology. No, no, it's, it's interesting. 
besides, all I'm doing is taking out screws at the moment. It's fine to talk about stuff while I'm not talking. Is this, is this still on topic? Right. Yeah, yeah, it's on. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not nearly as cool as my ceiling light. I mean, I'm able to go, hey, Google, bedroom off. You can't do that with Google, can Oh, my God, you can do that with Google. <laughs> Yep. Hey Google, bedroom on. What? Black Techie, you, you do know that you have a high chance of getting your house hacked, right? Oh no! It's going to. Someone can hack my house and control my light bulb. Ooh, spooky! What sort just, just it's on its the own. light. It's on its own network it's a, and everything, the lights it's went fine. Lights went off, you could just oh. start flickering a. Flickering on the light, and I would probably just start playing. So basically, they'll arc, just have like the power to turn the lights on and off and make your power bill go over. <laughs> Not really. It's like a 10 watt light bulb. I mean, seriously. Oh no, they turn on and off. Okay, it's the same as turning on and off of an LED light bulb. It's low power draw. I mean, but if I want. Hey Google, set bedroom to 1. One. One what? Really dim. Oh. Hey Google, set bedroom to a hundred. Oh my god, that's gonna oh, be no. very... Ah, oh, oh. No, okay, you... it's not that bright. Probably not, it's not that bright, no. I was, I was thinking that the screen would go white with a flash, you know? Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Solar no, flare. No, no, no. I know, I know. It, it, but I, over I used to actually have an RGB light bulb that I could also tell it to set to red, set to blue, set to whatever color I wanted. Fun. Let me guess. Haha. <laughs> hey, Techie, with a light, with a, with a colored light like that, you could set the mood anytime. <laughs> well, it was useful because yeah, I was reading up on sleep, sleep theory, all about um. I was talking when you go home. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't get uh -oh, it. Nothing, uh, nothing. nothing. Little nothing. world, nothing. It's, it's nothing. You'll, you'll, you'll learn when you're older. That's what. No, uh, they talk about trust. parties and such, and it's like, ugh, whatever. Yeah, parties. Yeah, exactly. What? Well, well, not the social type? Not really. Oh no, I hang around with Transformers all day. Mm, you tell me how social I am. <laughs> Really? I mean, you know, 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 yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I, I, yeah. Used to, I used to do that when I was younger. It was not as fun as people say it is. It's like to be honest, hey. I have to keep trying to. I have to pry rent, and rumble for the freaking punch <laughs> Hey, dude. Do you, you want to hear a funny story? Climb the ceiling. You want to hear a funny story of me? Last no. time I was on a table. No. Yes. Well. I I was a little kid, okay, and this oh, God, this, this guy. This is, this is off topic. Play that's a little off topic. Uh, no, well, guys, 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 was guys. Off topic with... guys, I'm unscrewing things. It's fine to talk about stuff while I'm unscrewing things. It's when I'm explaining something, that I want you guys to keep it on topic, okay? Uh, Anyways, but thank when you, I was then drag off, try and keep it on topic. Uh, I'll try, but this was uh, just a. Yeah, yeah, continue yeah. the line of what was going on. Anyways, when I was little, my mother's friend actually showed me the Chicka Moon. What's the Chicka Moon? <laughs> Basically, it's it's when you almost pull down your pants and, and show the full. But I was a dumb little kid, you know, a child. And oh then my god. I was at grandma's, okay? At that time, I lived next to my grandma's, like uh, one door next door. Uh huh. Yeah, so, I, can, I, really... I went to my grandma's early in the morning, went until they started. Then, I had the bright idea, once it was dinner time, I got on the table and almost showed my, my butt, yelling, Check a moon! I got the wooden spoon hard. Ouch. 
Why is wrong yes, with very you? painful. But what's funny is that was just last week. The thing. What? No. <laughs> I, I don't. I doubt Spark Chop is that naughty for the chocolate. <laughs> Oh, uh, there uh, we go. You know what? Let's let's skip to the subject. Oh. Okay. Oh, when you're taking the... apart stuff, it's important to check under stickers because wow. you can see here there's two screws, and there'll be two screws under this sticker. Um, sorry. Oh my God! It's like a it's like an escape uh, prison escape route behind a poster. It's more it's more so manufacturers know when their stuff's been tampered with. Because if the sticker's been removed, then it's like, oh no, someone's messed around with this. Okay, they're not oh, screws, they're, they're rivets. Fire. Okay. That's annoying. Wait, rivets? Wait, what's the, what's the difference between screws and rivets? Rivets are uh... um, pressed in place, where screws are screwed in place. Uh... It's like the difference between a nail and a screw. A rivet is kind of like a nail, but acts a bit like a screw. Yeah, it's a bit of a mix, but you you really oh, got up in there. Oh, I just got a fix, uh, cool name. How about uh, uh, Nicky? I have a question. Those world. Uh, what are you playing uh, with? with uh, guitar. Okay. Uh, Platinum Program once again suggested a really good name, Techies Tech Lab. Yes, that was mentioned earlier. That's a good one. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Oh, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. There we are. Right, now we got the back off and, uh, my cat disappeared. Okay. Now, a lot of you are probably going, but this is just the power plugs and everything else. Yes, I know. No one is. But there are no valuable huh. things. You're way better at than me at taking. Now, the plugs are actually useless to me, believe it or not. They're kind of useless. This, um, tennis core plug, again, it's like a dollar if I wanted one, one for myself. You know, like I could go down to the, the hardware and pick it up for a dollar. The fan is valuable. Oh. The fan grate is valuable. The fans can go for like $20 elsewhere. And I'm willing to bet this is a high-powered oh. lower fan, given how thick it is. Like, understand that your general cooling fan, let's say, ah! Here's a month that I use for cooling down my air conditioner. These are... These have the fans inside as well, don't they? Yeah. Literally everything has it to cool down the thing so it doesn't set on fire. Yeah. And overheat and explode. That's exactly right. But the thing about PC fans in particular is they tend to be quite big to move a lot of air. But a UPS has to fit in tight spaces, so what they do instead is go with thicker fans, so thick, like you can see how thick that is compared to, say, H-I-C-C. Yep. Extra thick. Well, it's about as thick as a computer fan is. And it's going to be high speed and probably fluid bearings. Like, look at how smoothly that moves. Okay. Yeah. So that's why these are much fans better are than valuable. Than taking off stuff. <laughs> yeah. I usually well, just break everything apart like well, a mad savage because it's fun. Well, that's why. Well, I want to keep like things like the wires and that because these are good quality high current wires. So they'd be Is very that story over. Don't just smash it. You're gonna have to take the parts carefully because you can use well, the stuff inside. Well, the metal the parts. Place. Yeah, I, the metal oh, parts, I like to... Yeah, metal parts, I smash them. The rest, I try to keep them. them. Okay, I'm back. Is that, is that a... Uh, yeah, but I don't have a forge at the moment. Although, I would love to... Oh! To find out if I need... I actually have a weapon. I actually made a weapon with my grandfather. We just basically weld it in place. Ah, uh, it's heavy. It's made out of tra rail road tracks. Oh, I love it. Uh, here's what is it the it things about? you can take apart. You can Oh, it's maglev. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, yay. 
Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna say yay anyway. You see, a a normal fan has usually um. It, it's hard to explain, but a maglev fan basically huh? basically spins a has a different sort of motor, which means that it basically uses magnetic levitation. It doesn't ever actually make contact with the fan bearings itself. See, when something spins around, like, actually, this will do. This is actually a drill I made. This is like a hand drill. See, as it goes up and down, it wears on this shaft, okay? Yeah, that's the shaft. So, that's... Dustbringer, that is not a relatable question. So, what? that means that Some, that this shaft will wear down says, over time. Is, uh, Look, no, 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 guys, 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 calm down. The chat is allowed to ask random questions. It's you guys who are being broadcast over the stream who who can't be random. Uh, then I'll just mute my <laughs> mic so nobody can hear me talk. Cool. Right. So, this shaft will wear down over time. But a maglev, what would happen is it would actually levitate so it doesn't touch the shaft at all, but still spins. Magnets, am I right? Yeah, it's. Uh, it means that it's more about that it's more expensive, but it also means that it's it's um a little uh pricier. Like, way more expensive because it has to be made a certain way and everything else. But let's see if we can't get the, um, can't try it out. Let's see, do I have a couple of wires here? Oh, I usually do. Come on, I saw you the other day. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry if I can't hear you, the other guys, Tiki. Oh, that's alright. I'm yeah, currently I'm... moving back and forth okay. between. Gotta go. Alright. Okay, bye bye. Bye, Lil's World. By the way, Lil's World got better at drawing. Ah, love that. Anyway. Lovely. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I helped her out with skeletons. Nice. Sorry about that. Okay. You know what I would do with the little the little part of the fan, the little uh, cage fan, uh, cage grill? Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, I I'd, u I'd use those, or would think to use those as something. For, you know, you put it on top of guns; it helps with aim. Uh, uh, sight, yeah. No. The yeah. skull sight, iron sight. Yes, good. I have several things. Yeah. Okay, I'm it, just making it, quick it test leads. Like okay. Apparently this is a 12 volt fan. Now usually, usually, red and black are your power wires, yellow is your signal wire. The signal wire tells the fan how fast it's, well basically tells the system how fast the fan is moving. So it can like limit power or speed power, but since we want this fan running at 100%, we don't care. So black is usually ground. And Locked yellow off. is usually positive. So let's. Bonk. Ooh. Yeah, fungus. That's actually really quiet. But that's actually quite a bit of power coming out of that. Ouch. That was my finger. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, it's fine. It's like, oh no, it's. I, I know. I was just, you know. That's actually pretty powerful. That's like. serious. Of course, that said, some fans, the signal is actually... Yellow is actually a 12 volt line. Nope, that's a signal line. So, yeah. That is actually a pretty decent little cooling fan. And it's probably, what, 40, 50 centimeters? Oh, uh, where's my ruler? Why is my ruler never around when I need... Ah, there we are. There's my ruler. Actually... Techie, I want to know, did you ever build a robot? 60. Nice. Uh, like a kinda? mobile robot? Yeah. Wait a minute, I just, I just heard, I just looked up and uh, Ratchet is Medix's uncle. Uh-huh. Okay, so, this is about the robot question. Now, 
I built something called a Cybot way back in the day, back when there was a magazine called Real Robots, where, you know, every every week they would give you, uh, sorry, every month. All right. Bye-bye, Keiju. See you guys, actually. What exactly is a Cybot? Well, it was a kit thank robot that you could got with... Screen. Yeah, no thank problem, Kaiju. Yeah, that... Uh, that. Go. Okay, see you later, Kaiju. And yes, I built the robot arm as well. Okay, uh... so the Cybots are uh, robots you, you buy at the store, then build, right? Uh, yeah, but it was part of a magazine subscription thing, so... You know, over time yeah, you okay. built it. So, yeah. Actually, I want to know, have you ever, you know, modified something like that? Did you ever, like, Don't give like how you upgrade man. the Cybot? Uh, like, back in the day, just... I didn't have no, but... the parts to do so, but I have considered it. Uh, as for recently, well, I could show you my 3D printer. That thing has been modified from the hell and back. It's been rebuilt at least five different times, and... Um, there's uh, hey, no original you probably parts make now. parts. You there's... could probably make parts with that 3D pin printer. Yeah, trust me, the Cybot's not worth making parts for. It's it was right, okay. No, no, it was just no, a really no, basic I mean, you robot. You could make something else completely. Yes, you, I could. You could basically build another one with with a 3D printer. Yes, make our robot overlord stronger. Yes, out but of this plastic. one would be plastic, so lighter. Well, plastic yes. would be lighter and less chance to, you know, heavily break on the floor like a uh, like a metal would with an impact like that. No, I'm gonna need a flathead. Oh hi, scout. Oh, oh hi, scout. Yes. I am back. Ooh, got the seductive tone. <laughs> oh, please, if I really wanted to turn the simmer on, I know exactly what I need to do. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't see it, but I am dying over here now. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> no. Oh, don't die on me. Is Techie too hot for mm -hmm. Scout? Tune in next time. <laughs> Will Scout survive this ordeal? Tune in oh. next time on oh, Jeff Streams Hours. I was about to say Dragon Ball Z, but okay. Okay, oh, yeah. Dragon Ball Z is not the only one with an announcer. Yeah, I know. Okay, how about Batman? Same Jesse, just dream time. No, not Batman. That's a monologue. That's not a monologue. That's a narrator. It's... That's a there narrator. we go. Okay, I had to break a bit of plastic, but that's fine. <laughs> Ten thousand years later. SpongeBob! Okay. <clears throat> oh, these are some robots. Ah, push that through hmm. there. Actually, Techie, you didn't build a robot apart from the Cybot, but did you ever build like a robot lookalike? Like basically a tech statue? Uh, oh, you like a statue in his honor? Yes, I did. Ba Once. Basically, like. It How did it look? It looked like K9 from Doctor Who. I was about 8 at the time. Oh, <laughs> this was before. This was before the David Tennant, Eccleston reboot of Doctor Who. Oh, <laughs> so you know, before you're like, oh, he's a Whovian. It's like, mate, I'm an old school Whovian. Yeah, classic I, Whovian. I like Tom Baker. I also like Matthew Smith. I think Matthew Smith is quite good. Okay, this is gonna get a bit difficult because I have to. Try and unplug these headers that don't want to come unplugged. Oh. oh, nope. You're gonna be a brat about it. Okay, let's pull you through there. Pull out the crowbar. Bring us the crowbar. 
I don't think he has a crowbar. No. Yep. No. Never needed one before. Actually, Techie, did you ever work on a car? Yes. I've also worked oh, on trucks. Oh, Think oh, you could build something with that? Probably not. Cars are cars are simplistic and complicated at the same time. How does that work? Well, you see, they can build up over ah. Now I see what's going on. They've been built up over decades of refinement and such that, honestly, unless you have like the a lab and such to build with. You never gotta build it. Oh. Come on. Come on, you little nothing. Come on, nothing. Oh, yeah. Come on. Tell me if you're full. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Right here. Did you break something bad? Uh, damn it. I did. What was it? Well, the relay. Damn it, that was valuable. Oh, uh, I mean, oh wait, no, I might be able to put it back together. I might be able to actually put it back together. Well, I hope so. Oh no, two of them broke, it looks like. Ooh, here. Man, it, they definitely wow. did not want you to take this apart. Let's see. Okay. Well, to explain what these things are, these clear plastic things, they're called relays. And see, power goes through this coil, and there's a little lever on top. And the idea is that when power is applied, it pulls that lever down. So a low current, a low current, low voltage can actually power something that's going to be powering high current, high voltage. But I think this also snaps, snaps the wires as well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Don't think that's gonna work. Oh, that's a broken capacitor. That is not good. Damn. Oh well, I still only have I still have four relays left. Relays yeah. are very good for um for controlling certain things, but yeah, nah, it looks like <laughs> yeah the coils broke. Damn. Yeah, well. Carmen San Diego. The fact is, the coils can still be used, I just have to fish out the two ends and apply current to them, and there, I have a little electromagnet. See? A little electromagnet. Right, if I get enough of these in our array, maybe mm -hmm. I can make an EM field generator. So, I... So, any of your future projects uh, consist of making a robot? Well, artistic Maybe. or not? Maybe. And how good are you with programs? Uh, I can bubble through. So, you wouldn't be able to make an AI, is that it? Uh, probably could, but it'd be a really basic one. I mean, what is an AI other than something that can work? work things out based on information provided. Well, basically make yourself your own Autobot mind with that. If you upgrade enough, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know what you're it's getting at. Right. So. Mm -hmm. oh, Sounds like you're talking about Teletron 1. Uh, okay, well here's our first transformer, and this one's a little weird to me because a transformer. It yeah, only I has three know. coils. Wait, only has three wires. Huh? That is weird. So is that normal or weird? No, that's weird. Most transformers actually tend to have four or five wires. Usually a grounding wire, one coil, and another coil. This only has three. 
So, I don't know how that works, but... Oh well. I consider that just basic wires. And all, uh, everything else add-ons? Nah. Like, the wires have particular re reasons why they're so thick and... and, um, covered the way they are. Like, this is not normal insulation, this is hard plastic insulation. If it was flexible uh... insulation, electricity can actually leak through if it's at a high enough current. Sorry, high enough voltage. Voltage can penetrate current core, but current, uh, it's, yeah. Although this is apparently a class B transformer, and it's good for up to 130 Celsius. Yes. If Turkey were to make a video game, what genre would it be? Fighting, puzzle, motion control, etc. I would lean. Program. I would lean more towards puzzle, but um, I would throw a bit towards probably motion control more than anything else. Fighting. Yeah, puzzle. Fighting in general doesn't interest me. Oh. Yeah. Oh you, my. You're always interested in puzzles, like the cross. Then. Yeah, well, the cross is fun. But, no, oh, it's not! Wow. It's fun for me. Well, yeah, okay, fun for uh, him. He doesn't have to be fun for you, <laughs> Nidrago. I just don't get it. I just don't even know how to play the, like, what, well, how to then learn know? how to play the game, then! <laughs> I just don't, I don't understand it at all. It's just like, poking anyway. it's, it's a puzzle. You're supposed to Figure it out. Figure it out. I'm not good with puzzles, okay? Now, guys. Apparently. This transformer. Well, so you can hear it. Okay. It's, it's heavy. very heavy. In fact, now that the transformer and batteries are out of this, this almost feels. I you know this is still pretty heavy because there's still more transformers on there. But this is the main power transformer. And you know what? Uh. Okay, you could just say the, I guess you could say it's like the Optimus Prime of the Transformers. Thing. <laughs> um, more like Jinrai, a power master. Really? <laughs> yes, say what you want, I'm calling it Optimus Prime. Yeah, not, that, not, the, not well, Jinrai, it's... not Jinrai himself, just that thing. Yeah. But we can cut this uh, off and... Uh. All this does is just... I'm a big, I'm a big old one. Um, See you later, guys. Leaving just as I'm stripping the transformer. Okay, okay, I'll say just a little bit more. <laughs> Wait, you say stripping the transformer? Oh my, Dickie, oh. there are kids here. Oh, relax. Scout scene far you worse. Can't... Actually, Scout can safely say <laughs> that now, jeez. Uh, wait, Scout, you have a link to his little thing. I doubt it could be any worse. <laughs> I'm not what gonna does say that words. giggling mean? What does that giggling mean? It means she's seeing stuff, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my. Yep, that's okay, right. What have you done? I shared my cooking recipes with her. Oh. Wait, what? You monster! <laughs> uh, we both know that's kind of a lie. And Drago, don't look into it. I know what he means. I do too. I so, calm your... Calm your, your servos. Yeah. Calm your servos, cool your ball bearings, and get out these. The lube because you're all stiffed up. What? Huh? Bad view. Oh, I'm saying you're too stiff. You're too rigid. Anyway. Uh, Transformers Legends has questionable moments. I don't think Techie can. By the way. Really? Is that I, I a challenge? Techie, Scout. <laughs> yeah? Uh, Techie and Scout. I just want to know do you know what the gunk Bots are. Aren't they from uh, Star Wars? Um, Aren't they yeah, from right. you mean what, what does Techie think for now? Yep! 
So, you know their, their uses, right? Their power uh, suppliers and their ammunition. Shush, 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 Ninja Drago. Yeah. I wasn't talking to you. I was a quiz. So, you know how dangerous they are, right? Yeah, they got like a nuclear... No. Uh, Ninja Drago, I'm oh. trying to make a quiz here. Please. Okay, what's your point? You could, with, you know, most of the... The tech you're playing with being boxes, think you can make a gunko? A gunk droid? One that can actually carry around this much weight? I doubt it. Lipo battery on the other hand? Probably, but it'd still be a bit hard to deal with. Yeah, but the thing I've, I found funny with the gunko, gunk, bot, uh, gunk droids uh, lore is that they had a cultist following. Some people made a cult around them in the uh, Star Wars lore, which is funny. Uh, who the hell would worship this thing? Uh, crazy people that love destruction. That's why they, they put railings or never put gunk bots on high places so they don't fall and destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> They're basically walking nuclear bombs. Oh, fusion, nuclear fusion bombs. Sorry, forgot the fusion part. Yeah. But yeah. This and the Empire, if I remember correctly, did put guns on top of those droids. Like, Why? So that the Jedi don't cut them up. While they fight, because if they do, everything, you know, goes kaboom. Ah, there it's we go. Me. There we go. See those lovely copper coils. Actually, that's uh, a single big. coil. It should be two coils. It should be one coil there, one coil there. That's weird. Unless it's an internal secondary winding, which I've not seen, but I've heard of. Well... Any who's, I'm gonna do like D Doctor Who and get out of this timeline. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. And he's gone. He's gone. Forever. Alrighty. Where is he? He dun dun dun. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> 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 Until the return, and then the many, many, many sequels. Until it's, you know, huh? ran into the ground a bit. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, there's the other coil wire. So it must be an internal winding. We're seeing like three or four different wires. That's interesting. Anyway, I can take that part a bit more later. Whoa. Whew. Okay, that is useless at this point. I mean, yes, if I had a forge, I could probably melt down the metal, but I would have to do all the prep work and all that, so I'll just throw it in my bin. Yeah. Which I now have located right next to me, instead of across my room. That way it's easier to get to. Okay. Ow. What was that? Yeah. Bit of blood. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Right, guys? Yeah! Mm. That note, time for my tenth can of energy drink. Tenth can? Why? Joking. I'm joking. Oh. I'm serious. Why would I do you that? You, it just sounds like you've been drinking nothing but like energy drinks. Like I haven't even had a cup of coffee today. I'm all out of coffee, Kramer. Just saying, I'm well socked. Oh my. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, 
A shop I frequent was selling them for like three dollars for twenty-four cans. They're not bad. They're green tea flavored. Oh, lovely. They are still energy drinks, mm -hmm. so yes, they'll hype you like heck. But uh, honestly, they've been a bit more enjoyable than a cup of coffee lately. They're called Sumo. And apparently, it's an Australian company that makes it. Hmm. Yeah, apparently. It's like green tea and guarana. That's it. Alright. Now, this board itself probably is going to get its own separate stream or separate video or whatever. Um, because I'll have to desolder a little bit. And, you know, I don't have the setup here for desoldering. I'll have to actually go to my actual workroom and do that. So I'm not sure if I'll do that as a stream or a separate video. Probably separate video. That would probably be the easiest way of doing it. Okay, that's three. Hi, Nighthawk. Oh, yeah. Nighthawk. Hello. Hello there. Konnichiwa. Genu Kano. <laughs> I'm sorry, where you said, where you go with the old cue and be like, Konnichiwa, the end of the movie song? Uh, wait. Oh, um, Pokemon says, Transformers Legends, the uh, manga. <laughs> I had questionable moments that I think that I don't think Techie can talk. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna say. Nani? Nani? Let's just say I was reluctant to draw for Jetstream's channel just in case my art was recognized. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I actually feared that my art would be so recognizable that people were like, Oh, you're actually so-and-so of the so-and-so. Oh my god. You, Jetstream associates with that person. Uh, so? It's 2020. Don't discriminate. Yes, yeah, my controller reaches my controller. Yeah, 2020 dicks, it's... Seriously, don't discriminate. You'd be surprised at what people will discriminate against. Can just get the rest of 2020 and go straight to 2021? What, oh, and miss out on all this goodness? Yeah. Have my coffee here. Have my coffee here. <laughs> yes, baby. Wait, is that... Up here. Sorry, this, there's a speaker here, and it looks weird. Looks like it just plugs in. Hello? Hello? Hello Did there. Hello. You in the background? Probably. Alright. So we'll start watching the stream with my So far, stuff. the stream is at 1 hour and 17 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just checking around to see what's going on, and that, oh yeah, only dropped 1% of frames. Awesome. Okay, looks like I'm not going to be able to pop out the ASO yet, but we can at least look at this and go through some of the interesting components. Like, wow, look how thick that cable is, and that's for the batteries. That's, that's another relay. That's another relay. These are transformers, usually used to not power down or knock it back up. Ow! Oh, oh, okay. These are sharp. Oh, what, what, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, very sharp things. Oh, very sharp. Oh, Ow. no. Ooh. Dick, you need a band aid? No, 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 I'm fine. But do you see these black things, guys? Uh, yeah. Okay, they're often known as MOSFETs, or, well, actually they're known as integrated circuits. Usually they're MOSFETs, or voltage regulators, or any number of things. They're kind of like relays, except for they're much faster at turning on and off. Okay, and as you can tell, there's a freaking lot of them. Hey, little... Welcome back. Hello. But you can see all of them need some sort of cooling, and that's why they're attached to these big things. 
I see. Uh, yes, integrated circuits. I see. Uh, yeah. So what's that blue uh, soda can looking thing right there? That's a capacitor. Oh. What these do is think of them. Those. Think of them kind of like balloons. They charge up and then release all the air. So charge up, release. Charge up, release. So think of think of resistors as something that slows down the flow of water. Capacitors are kind of like a balloon that will fill up and then deinflate. Fill up, deinflate. They're oh, used for smoothing out. Your lungs, how you breathe in and breathe out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, lung. Now, some of you might also be wondering what these black things are on this wire. Uh. uh They're known uh, as uh, chokes. The wires from things. Yes, these uh, African American things. You realize that's kind of more um, racist than just saying it's black. racist. Anyway, because there's I'm black, black, well, there's black people in Australia, there's black I'm people in the UK, there's black people in Africa. You go to Africa and say, oh, yeah. yes, hello, my fellow yeah. African-American who's not actually American. <laughs> um, you're making it very complicated for me now. So... These are known Good. as chokes. They have a ferrous ring inside them that what they do is they interfere with electromagnetic emissions. See, EM, electromagnetic fields, actually interfere with other electronics, especially if you're dealing with transformers and that. That's why transformers have these big, you know, cages around them. That's actually to stop the EM fields from escaping. This does the same thing, stops the EM fields from building up. So if the EM fields get big enough, they can leap through wires and just destroy everything. They're not nice. But that's why you'll see, like, TVs will have them on their power cables, or, you know, or you'll see monitors or, you know, cables with, the, with some sort of, like, black thing on the ends. Um, like, uh... Well, any display cable usually has them as well. Then we get into things like chokes. These sort of um, coils. Which... That gets into the more complicated stuff that honestly I could explain, but... Realistically, I can't really do much more with this board other than admire it, and... Honestly, there's a lot of stuff I'm salvaging off this. Oh. Uh, Platinum Program says... If Techie made something worse than Tigertron being a harem protagonist, I wouldn't we I wouldn't want to be around to see it. Define worse. Uh it's something that happened in Transformers Legends. Don't look it up, please. But yeah, and also we have these wonderful little things called fuses. These are ceramic ones, so they're probably for high voltage, high current, and high temperature. And they're probably old mono, actually. Mm -hmm. Just given that sometimes the fuses just go. Oh no. But... Hi, Bunky. Hello. Bunk, I want you to be, uh, okay, just a little reminder. Uh, you can only talk about subjects that have anything to do with Techie's uh, stream or about Techie or anything else. It's nothing, Bas nothing, nothing else, all right? Basically, just keep it on topic. And when I talk, it's probably because I'm trying to explain something, so please be respectful and let me talk. So, so, now the UPS has been taken apart and I have two circuit boards I want to salvage parts from and three batteries I need to look at disposing and believe it or not, so far the most useful thing is a bunch of wires and a fan. But once I'm able to get these transformers and relays off, those become a lot more useful. I see. Alrighty. Okay, so what do you guys... What do you guys think I should take apart next? The Roboraptor or the laptop? Laptop. Not really. It really wasn't awesome. Like, a lot of people are like... We're like, oh my god, I still wanted one. It's like, yes, all it did was wave its head around and you know, bite if your hand got too close. Like, it didn't, like, walk That's around. Cool. 
It didn't walk around properly or anything. Oh. Uh, yeah, it just kind of stumbles, like... Like, seriously, oh my that's God, it its walk. Like maybe that's we can make it work right. even better if we take it apart. I'll probably be taking all the motors out of it, like... That's the thing, it's probably using a very oh, yeah. basic motor array. Wait, I have a question, Techie. Who made... Who, what's the company that made this again? Uh, made Roboraptor? I would say Wowee, I think. Wowee? Oh, Wowee, I'm surprised they didn't get bankrupt because of this thing. Nah, because kids are, <laughs> kids are stupid. I thought, hey, I got my own dinosaur. I'll just use yeah. it. I'll, I'll just have it and be like, oh, yay, I got my own dinosaur. I get bored with it yeah. within a few minutes. And of course, uh, but they did, They made one teeny tiny they mistake. Did. They didn't seem to count uh, any of the smart techie kids. Yeah, well, the problem is smart techie kids, it's like, oh, I'm bored with this now, but it's still a cool toy, right? It's like, you know, what, what do you do? They already got the money. But either way, um, I'm kind of hesitant about taking apart Roboraptor right now because it might be a lot of little bits and you guys might be seem to be under the impression that I'd be able to put this back together or something. I really won't. Uh, like, I don't know, make give it like laser eyes and AI. I just like make it, just, like make it bigger. Give, like, Look at this! Saute. Like, there's no batteries in that. You know, those cool movements? It's seriously driven off one motor. Oh, wow. It's got the same movement gimmick as Masterpiece Grimlock. I mean, that And yes, Masterpiece Grimlock has that uh, gimmick where basically if you move his tail, it also moves his head. Yeah, but look, his front claws are going up and down as well. Oh, ain't that oh awesome? God. And look at his walk. It's, it's, so like it, it's like it's paraplegic or something. It's like it's possessed by an actual dinosaur. Wow! That's if it was, it'd be. A... Oh wait, my screwdriver does fit. <laughs> and of course, I was also one of the very few stupid kids who wanted this. Okay, we very... can take apart Robo Raptor, but it's never going back together again. Or I can take apart the laptop. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Uh, Robo Raptor. Roboraptor? People sound more interested in Roboraptor, and honestly... Try this thing! Laptop can wait till later. They just want to see Roboraptor die. Okay. Yeah, they just want to see Roboraptor die and suffer. Oh no! Don't do it! Take it! Please! You spent a whole ten dollars on me on a car boot sale! Think about it! Uh, yeah, okay. I thought about it. Uh, okay, I thought about it. Time yeah. to die. Okay, I think we are definitely going to need a new bag of unsready coconut. I mean, what? even the controller <laughs> was a letdown. Like, come to my mom asking to do. Mm. Like, remember when they were like... Uh, yeah, wow, sure. Wow, that looks like a knockoff Xbox controller. Now, that was the annoying thing. It was like, oh yes, I can do all these things if it wanted to actually pay attention. Although, Lil, I think this actually has an I, IR receiver and transmitter, so we might be able to show you those bits. Now, I'll still do the full tutorial video, but, you know, I'll show you what the bits actually look like. I might mm. save the laptop for next time, actually. Oh. At least I get to know what's in a laptop next time. Yeah, well. There's a lot of interesting things yeah, in just things, and the, the problem breaks, they throw them out, and it's like, did, no one's willing this stuff? Even the screws, even the screws alone are useful to me, because, you know, I'll 3D print something and use the screws to screw things in. Like, I've fixed so many things just because I happen to have a whole load of screws with me. Oh my god! Tag is lag. I get. Oh my god! Say that that of the stream is lag. Oh my god! How bad is the lag? 
Hashtag the sarcasm with Quiver is real. There we go. There we go. Where? Now, uh, Bong, I will ask, ask you this question once the team is done. All right, just or if the you're well, the legs are basically hollow. You think there'd be like a whole bunch of motors in there? Nope, it's gearing. It's gearing and levers. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be right back. I've gotta finish my job. Okay. Where, where in the world do Garland San Diego? Uh, over there. I taught knockout that. I taught her that. I taught knockout that. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, she's over there. Mm -hmm. There you look. Yeah, I taught her the I Carmen San Diego song. Highest part of the building. It's not very so high. Clouds. What is the highest place in the world? Uh, Techie, have you realized that the stream has been lagging? The stream is always going to lag. That's just the nature of streams. Why do you think you guys have a direct feed? Oh. It's to make sure that if it lags, you guys oh, can still see that. what- For frick's sake! Okay. Yes, I know the stream is lagging. It's the nature of streams. Okay? Streams are always gonna lag because I don't control the server I stream to. That's why I'm streaming directly to you guys in Discord so you can keep up in case the stream lags. Okay. Ugh. Oh, like, seriously, you can say it like three, four times. I still can't change anything. Okay. Now, excuse me, I've defeated the <laughs> Roboraptor. Now let's move that chest cavity. Oh, I have a question. Yeah? What's up? Where? No. What's up, Lil? Do you know how you're taking apart the Roboraptor? Yeah. You're gonna take the things from inside the robot raptor, are you going to leave out the husk? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the husk. Have the husk. <laughs> it would cost me a bit much to send to um the UK. Ah, uh, that sounds a little creepy to have the husk. Why do you want it? So I can make my own little robo raptor, I'm gonna pick take it apart and upgrade it. Against something oh, else. That's adorable. It's clear one. Because there are <laughs> I'll, see what, I need. I'll see what I can do. Um, I don't. Uh, aren't you an adorable little evil genius? You're scared of him, aren't you? Scared of her, aren't you? A little bit. <laughs> Evil. I shall prank you somehow. No, mm -hmm. you don't. You don't look like you like hurt a. You sound like you can't hurt a fly. You yeah, that's so how. Sounding. That's I've how they lower you in. Spiders. So what? Uh, I squished more spiders than you. I've yeah. I've literally killed so many spiders. The dragon spiders. lives in Australia. I live in Australia. Yeah, so does Techie. Techie is also a murder. Yes, it's funny hearing Jetstream yeah, go on you know, about how scary the spider she had to deal with. It was as big as her, as her thumbnail. And I'm just looking at her going, um, Jetstream, you realize uh, I have Jetstream, a... You know, I have a huntsman in my room, Jetstream. Jet, also, I have, not, I have seen spiders that are as big as my foot. Those ones are yeah, how big they are. That once when we were in Scotland. We went to a different country. And we were living in this thing, and there was a giant spider on the wall, and I refused to move because it was that big. <laughs> and I'm like, it'll eat me. It will eat me. I'm oh, tiny. Well. It will eat me. I oh, it won't eat me. Like, don't it's worry, Snookums. Don't worry, Snookums. Oh, they don't eat much. Oh, no. Yeah. And she killed it in the end, and I was happy. It's happy because it's dead. I am a fook. My life be like, ooh, ah. Like a little creepy evil girl laugh. Uh, little 
creepy evil things are. <laughs> I don't know how to do those laughs. Ah, yeah. there we go. That's how the light mechanism works. Yes, in case what? anyone's ever it's wondered it's how a Roboraptor leg mechanism worked, how it did those cruel movements, it's literally two yeah. levers. Levers. Uh, yeah. Uh, Not motors or anything. Convert it into five levers. One slide, one lever. I just get it back and forth. One slide, back. one lever. Yeah. Oh, but it actually has a limit switch. There's a limit switch. What? That little black box down there is a little limit. switch. To tell it when it's gone too far. So you see, it'll go it's to gone. here and go, wait a minute, I've gone too far. If I go any further, I'll damage myself. I'll go the other way, thank you. So it's just to check itself before it wrecked itself. Smash. Look, smash. Smashing okay. things. Hammer time. Oh, man. I don't like, I. It's an old song. Then Drago's showing his age. Okay, boomer. What? You're the boomer. You're like 30. Yeah, and you're what, 50? No, I'm what, no, I'm I'm like 19 and a half. Oh, and a half! Oh, still trying to hold on to your youth, are ya? Yeah, 19 and a half. Because oh. I'm actually turning 20 this year. So yeah, I'm not a boomer. Boomer. I'm 20. I'm 20. Besides, I have to be 50 to be a boomer. Okay, boomer. Yeah. Uh, it's boomer. not good. His name is Boomer. That's a very bad boomer. Yeah! <laughs> Taking the mick out of Transformer names. Oh. Hey, Jazz, do you like Jazz? Oh, Lil Squirrel called you a boomer, Techie. <laughs> Taking the mick out of Transformer names. Cause why not? Well, why not hey indeed? Jazz, do you like Jazz? Well, of course he does. You should probably look at his Q&A video by Johnny Flash. Oh wait, I shouldn't probably promote. Uh, oh. Hello, Wiggle. Guy. Yeah. Oh, Johnny Flash. Copyright. <laughs> You're under arrest. Copyright. I'm just randomly playing. Okay. Oh, Lil's World, you can take a look at uh, the Q&A with Jazz, if you want. Uh, after the stream, of course. I've after, already seen after it. The oh. That's, that's how I found out about the question, Jazz, do you like Jazz? Well, I already watched it. <laughs> and I'm guessing you're loving it. Yes. Yes, I am. Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. I, I, I have... Uh, tell the stream a little question. How does it feel to transform? <laughs> Apparently it hurts, but it's really cool. That's Jazz's isn't. Not mine. Really? Optimus Prime is like, it hurts. But it's cool. It hurts, but it's like... I would imagine it would be like, stretching. Like, this. Yeah, but you know, when you, stretch in, <laughs> when you get a good stretch in? When you get a good stretch in, and it just hurts that little bit, but it's so good to stretch it out. Yeah, it's yeah. all like that. Yeah. Okay, let's see. There's the gearbox. There's that. There's a spring here. It's interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if I should do, uh, if I should discuss a crossover with, uh, pan uh, with, uh, with paper plane. Uh, get our, uh, get our... You know, to get our stuff out there. You know what I mean? The publicity. More subs. You know what I mean? 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 No, is she a goer? Is she a goer? Uh. It's a Monty Python reference, Lil. Yes, Monty Python, you know, those old comedy shows from Britain. Yeah. 
Yes, which never relied on I hate my wife to talk about. Yep. I'm just trying to find that most um, British comedies never had to rely on the I hate my wife sitcom trope. Whereas, um, you know, American sitcoms seem to just rely on the oh, I hate my wife, but I love her thing. I hate her, but I love her, but I hate her, and I. It's like, yes, we get it. Then just get a divorce, man. Jeez. Jesus oh, fucking Christ, gonna crack a thing, flying through my room, Lils. saying, why the hell are you uh, using that? Lilith, well, did you just swear? <laughs> I said, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, Lord's name is vain. That's a sin. Bad, bad, bird. Bird, bird, bird. Uh, I'm not uh, religious. No, I, could, I could sit whatever the hell I want. 2020, remember? Hell you. I'm holding up my middle finger to the world. Okay, um... Technically, if your thumb is... If people say that the thumb is on a finger, then there's no such thing as a middle finger. One, two, one, two, and then there's that one in the middle. What does the thing next to the middle finger and the pinky do? Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Oh, the one on the next to the pink in between the middle finger and the pinky is called the ring finger. The ring finger, and then you've got the index finger, which is right next to your yeah. thumb. And you've got yeah, the middle no, finger, which is the What does it do for, exactly? Yeah. I don't even know what it does. Middle finger. I didn't the middle finger. Been the over here. It's a backup <laughs> finger. Well, the one it... uh, it's a backup index finger, and then the other two are ring fingers. Uh, <gasps> come one on, for right. married rings, and the other one's just for fanciness. <laughs> yeah, intense screwdriver oh, action. Fended strike. Okay, that's... I love fingers not as much as I like my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Taki, are you sure it's wise to beat the figure? Yes, of course. Well, this... <laughs> He's not He's going to repair it anyways. Yeah, I mean, this thing actually still worked last time I checked. I just don't care. Oh, okay. Let's see. I guess. How long have you been doing this for? No, no. is this like most two hours? Like that you did with electronics? Uh, like, uh, electronics? Yeah, uh, it's just on and off oh. for years and years. This is kind of like the first year I've taken it seriously. Most of the time, I just do it as a bit of a hobby. So it's just fun to just poke mm -hmm. around and try and work things out and such. You know, kind of look at something oh. that broke and go, well. How did it even do what it did in the first place? Not necessarily to repair, just to Ooh, it's kind of like me and coding. Yeah. It's kind of I... like with me and coding. I do it as a hobby. It's Wait, fun. you do coding at the age of 10? Yeah. I used you know. to make animations. No. With coding. Well, I was doing, but I, what the hell was I doing when I was age of 10? I was, uh... STEM has become a big uh... part of, um... Of education now, then Drago. No, I was studying to be a teacher for years. Yeah, but then the accident happened, and yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, no, I just found out how scary social media was and went, nope, I never want to do that again. Social media is okay, scary. Look at this dork teacher. Hashtag, uh, hashtag worst teacher ever. No, it's the idea of parents knowing exactly where you are just because you were tagged in a friend's photo. Imagine that. Imagine not being allowed to go out with any of your friends because if you are tagged in a photo looking a bit drunk, parents can complain to your principal. And next thing you know, you're fighting for your job in court because the principal is sitting there going, Oh, but you're out drinking, so I have to dismiss you. Yeah, that's the fear. 
that, you know, you're no longer allowed to hang out with your friends, that you're not allowed to go into town to go shopping, because, oh no, if you happen to go you into the... Think of that. You shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't, but that teachers... Shouldn't you don't have to... Yeah, but teachers get fired for that stuff every day. That's the scary I'm thing. It happens... Too. It happens every day, you know, a teacher could go down an aisle and buy tampons and next thing they, kn they know, because the tampons were next to the condoms, you know, someone's uh... posting all about them being sex fiends and such. Oh, I don't want them to hang around with my kids, and it's like, they weren't hanging around with your uh... kids in the first place. You do, know, you do know you just told all that to a ten-year-old, right? Oh, please. I already know this. I already know this. I've read a whole book about it. You are on you. messed up ten year old. Not really. I learned about sex when no. I was seven. What? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> you see, yes, I read I encyclopedias as a kid. For about two years now. I read encyclopedias as a kid, and when it got up to the SNR section, so sex and reproduction, well, our encyclopedias had fold out sections. Big fold out what? sections. And then okay. there's things called periods. I'm still yep. waiting for them. Yeah. So I figured. Go for all the changes except for the periods, and I'm like, what the hell? Why won't you do this? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? What is wrong with you kids? Nothing. They're being educated earlier, so it's not so much of a, of a surprise when it happens. I mean. Can you imagine how panicked a girl could be if they never learned what a period was? And then one day, feeling uh, really I rotten, don't... and then... It happens. I thought... I thought... I mean, I was just being in my, uh... I just... I mean, I, I don't... I don't know about you, I was just being in my room, just watching Spongebob by myself. Like, not looking at rooms about what periods are. Oh, well, the only reason I know about periods and that is because I studied human biology in high school. But even then, I learned a lot more when I, when I asked my sister about them, because I was actually really curious about um, reproduction and such. Because, well, it's part of life. Why, why is there this big mystery attached to yeah. it? How is it that I found a... out about it when I was studying biology so I could, like, do stuff with herbs. Because yeah. people are me, and I was going to use herbs <laughs> to help bruises of the body and medicines and how it, how these plants would affect the uh, body, so I went to learn biology and botany. Then on ya! Uh, okay, this is getting too gross for me. Why? Uh, sorry, but a movie sorry, like... No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. A movie like Shaun of the Dead or Dawn of the Dead is M-rated, and that has people being ripped apart and shot and br brutalized but yeah. but as soon as a movie shows a boob it's r-rated how is how does that make sense how is it that we're more comfortable with people it being doesn't... ripped apart than we are with sex which is a perfectly normal thing yes it is. it's just reproduction it's been like that for thousands of years it's not like it's so... like a new thing that popped up it's like all those young whippersnappers had their sex. It's like you guys had sex once. How do you think we came to be? People act so yes. weird. It's like, it's like, oh my so god, I just learned my parents. <laughs> like, I had a friend come up to me and go, oh my god, I just learned my parents had sex, and I just stared at him like, no shit, bro. Of course they did. <laughs> yeah. And you're telling this to the world why? Because it's funny! It's funny how bent out of shape people get. They're like, oh, it's gross. It's like, it's perfectly freaking normal. You might do it one day. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's not going to happen. Oh. Wait, well, no, no, you're, no, you're, well. you're I'm just going to have the dogs and I'm going to foster them. No, it's because I'm going to foster the children. Nowhere. Foster children? That's a good idea. I'm going to foster brother, children. Yes. My older brother was there a foster child. There are already child. children in this world. They need families. I'm going to foster and I'm going to take care of dogs and foster children. Because dogs are like children. 
that's very mature of you. I'm really impressed. That is a little too mature for a yeah. ten-year-old. How dare you? I'm I sorry. To be a like, grown woman. I was, 10, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't worried about any of that stuff. I'm still young. Yeah, but the problem is, when he was ten, you know, it was well for us it'd be um, well, when when he was born, it was 2010. It was ten years after one of the most biggest disasters happened in the U.S. You know, the world has changed since we were kids, in Drago. When you were born. Yeah. The two towers went down. I was... Uh, I, I was saw born... that. I saw that um, on TV. I was born in 2000, and I was born April 17, 2000. Okay. Either way, the fact is, you were really young, so you probably don't remember seeing that. I did. And we kind of had to go right. You know, we had to grow up a lot faster back in those days. In order that... Whereas you didn't have to. You were dealing with a world that was already scared. Now what do we have? Uh, Madness coronavirus. and coronavirus. Oh, corona. And climate change. Climate change is going to destroy us all. Oh yeah. So I'm a climate <laughs> activist. Yeah. Climate change. Climate change. Why do you dun, think dun, I'm into dun. Why do you think I'm into recycling technology? I think electronic waste is one of our biggest issues at the moment. It's not the biggest issue, but it's one of. Like, I don't like the fact that phones get thrown out every year and, you know, replaced with the latest model. But what happens to the old phone? Does it get recycled? No, that's toxic chemicals in our landfill. And, huh, that's if they're disposed of properly. The number of people who lose their phones on, like, Boat cruises, because they're taking selfies, a stray breeze, and suddenly they've dropped their phone and it's down the bottom of the ocean, leaking toxic chemicals. Yeah. That's a scary stuff. And another thing is... Ah, sorry, huh. sorry, I was... Uh, sorry, I had a internet exit. What did you say earlier? Something, something, quick um, towers. Don't worry, Nindrago. If you're not gonna pay attention, then don't worry. I wasn't paying. I was paying attention. I just, I just had a disconnection. I had an internet hiccup. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Basically, the world is screwed up, and it's up to us to actually try and make a difference. Yeah, we've got like what five, about eight years yet left to make a difference, and we're still not doing nothing. And I hate my Prime Minister Boris Whoa. Johnson because he's okay. racist and sexist. Yep. Hey, how do you think us Australians feel about our Prime Minister? We call him Scummo. I That's want just... to slap your Prime Minister and mines across the face. Kids should not be worried about that stuff. I'm just But saying. they are! Because, yes, we literally have about eight years left. Ten if we're lucky. Then the, then the world is you just never going to... You wanna know why gone... I am worried about nope, this? No, 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 And you wanna know why Don't I'm worried about this? with a laser. It's because we could get kicked out Lasers. of Lasers. I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about which Lego block goes where back then. Yeah. But right now, like, I... Lil is worried about the fact that when she's 20 years old and looking at maybe fostering a kid, that the world will be literally on fire. I never- I'm, I'm just saying that do, do kids really need to worry about all that? Yes, because the adults are! Yes, because my f Yeah! Me and my family are a working class family. We are struggling to pay the rent. We could get kicked out of our own home. I, I mean, I'm doing just- I'm, 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 I'm just- I'm still jobless, but I'm doing just fine! Yeah, but guess what? The cost of living keeps going up. The cost of Centrelink, what Centrelink gives to to people like you, New Start, it's actually not enough to sustain a family. Believe it or not, if you had a child or two, that the amount of money you get per week, per fortnight from Centrelink, would only increase about a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's how much an extra child costs, apparently. A hundred dollars a fortnight. No it doesn't. An extra child is an extra amount to feed. 
a, a child is someone that you have to provide clothing for and all that. Then you have to deal with the horrible situation of essentially going, right, well, we have to report you to child services because you're obviously not looking after your child. And you're sitting there going, but what am I meant to do? You're not giving me enough money to actually pay for my child's well-being. Yeah, Why do you think I do have to... Yeah, but that's yeah. the thing. You're okay because you're by yourself, but as soon as you're in a group living situation like I am, you start having to worry about this stuff. My housemate literally lost his job yesterday because of this coronavirus thing. Oh. He works in the airport, and the Australian government has turned around and said, all flights are cancelled. Until this coronavirus thing is, is dealt with, all flights are cancelled. He works in the airport in a retail shop. A, just a simple retail shop. And he's basically told, guess what, for two weeks, you have no job. And we don't know when you're ever going to get shifts again. So no, this is a scary time for everyone. I thought it was just because of the imminent death that the, that the virus would have. Yeah, but the problem is, he has no job. For two weeks, no job. And that's if he's lucky. So, you know, while you're sitting there going, well, I'm doing fine. Understand that Centrelink might turn around and go, well, guess what? You're perfectly able, and we have all these people who have just lost their jobs. Guess what? You need to find a job in in six weeks, or we're cutting you off. Because guess what? That's what the American system does. The American system, their social security, you have roughly six weeks of social security. They'll pay... They'll Seriously? Pay. Yep, you have to find a job in six weeks. Yep. God yep. damn. So... That, how is that how? So imagine if Centrelink adopted that system. How screwed would you be in Drago? Very, very screwed. And they could do that at a drop of a hat. Not a pleasant thought. So that's what me and Lil fear. Because the problem is the world is run by businessmen that all see the bottom Bottom line, they see the dollar. They don't see the world. They want to retire with all their money because the way they see it, 10 years? Well, we're already 70 years old. So it doesn't matter if we die in the next 10 years. We're fine. And they're going to vote for each other and that to make sure that no one young that actually wants to make a difference ever comes into power. So, you know what? The world is screwed, and we have to do things for ourselves. You know, I've been jobless for over a year now. I've still not applied for Centrelink. I've had to pay right using my own skill. But I'm not hungry. I've had to draw for a year. I'm drawing much. Uh, great, now you made me afraid. I hope you're happy. Good. Because the more fear there is, the more people are likely to do something. Because we can live in ignorant bliss, or we can get on with our lives, and actually try and make a difference. And it starts with all of us. <laughs> but ignorant bliss is so cool. Yeet. Yes, but would Meg, but would Optimus Prime do that? No, he wouldn't. No. He would get up and try <laughs> and deal with the world. One Decepticon at a time. I feel like you just raised a revolution because of that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was going on about, but yeah. Okay, so that's the control board. Interesting. Sorry, this Roboraptor is really hard to deal with because of its size. It is really long. But the problem is, you can see a lot of that is just empty space in the end. I mean, heck, me, 
me and my housemate have to go early tomorrow morning to get toilet paper. That's the world we live in, where toilet paper is the commodity we're most worried about. Really? Because Even though Australia literally no makes its paper. own toilet paper? Yes, I know, but people panic buy. It's shipped out to most countries. Yeah, and people panic the buy, though. That's the, um, the... That's the current annoying thing. We didn't think that... We were like, ah, two weeks, we have plenty of toilet paper. And then we go into the shops and it's like, ah, uh, the shelves are empty. Ah, oh, Christ, we only have four rolls of toilet paper left. Damn it, we should have stocked up. Like, we're literally actually running out. We're actually the people who we just need a pack of toilet paper. That's the annoying thing. We only need, like, one pack and we're fine. Uh... We live in a freaking world where toilet paper is the most valuable commodity. I thought food was the best part of life. No, yeah. Oh, hey, I can't. Uh, so, Scout, how are you doing, love? I'm doing good. I'm actually playing King right now. And I'm doing terrible, thanks to you. No thanks to you. <laughs> oh! No! If you want, I could draw one of your OCs as a female again. No, thank you. <laughs> 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 This is pretty <sighs> funny. <laughs> okay, well, here's that control board, guys. Oh, hello. Nice. This is what controls Roboraptor, and. Ooh, hello, you. Oh, it is. Oh, it is it? Okay, this is interesting. This is what we call a glop top. Basically, that has a proprietary circuit on there, and so they cover it in stuff to make sure no one can find out what it is. But I'm willing to bet this is the main brains. I think. Although that said, this is actually rather interesting. Okay, see, there's labels all over the place, but there's these empty... Uh, let's see if it'll actually focus. Come on, focus. Uh, you know what? Ooh. Focus. There we go. But you see those empty slots on the um, on the board? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, what some toy manufacturers do, and actually a lot of people do this, laptops in particular, they'll use the same board for all their toys, right? But they'll populate the circuits differently. Like, you see here, let's see, let's see if I can... Yeah. How the, the big glop there? That's yeah. bridging two pads together. So I'm willing to bet, based on what's bridged and what's not bridged, this changes the functions of this board. And I can tell from the things that, you know, there was meant to be LEDs over there. Uh, these are switches, these are sensors and motors and I don't know what that is, but eh, who cares. Uh, BDD, HR, FDI, NCC, yep. LED right, LED left, microphone right, microphone left, interrupts, voltage in, ground, speaker. Yeah, so there's actually a chance that if I can look up this board online, someone might have decoded this board and I might be able to use it to drive another type of robot. In fact, Wowie didn't just produce the Roboraptor, they produced the um, Robo Reptile, which I think was meant to be a more advanced Roboraptor, and Robo Sapien and Robo Sapien 2. And I'm willing to bet they all used the same board. They just changed the code and changed the functions of the board, but it'd be the same circuit. So. Yeah. Anyway, so that's going to be interesting if I can eventually decode that board. Or find out that someone's already decoded the board. That's the thing, Lil. When you're taking apart things, 
often you don't have to be the one to decode the board. You can actually often look up the board online and someone will go, oh yes, I've gotten one of these boards and I've decoded it. Here's all the information you need to use this board. And well, then you can do everything else yourself with it. You can use someone else's code and start just learning about the board and well, see what you can do. It's how I learned about those servos and that that I got out of the printer. I looked them up online and several people were like, hey, I got this out of a printer, here's the data sheet, and this is the project I did with it. Looks like I'm going to have to go to the tip and steal some electronics. Yeah, I was just starting with things like, um, I was just starting with things like DVD players in particular, because those, those will have motors and cooling fans. Digital set top boxes, um, if you know it has a hard drive inside, those are often worth salvaging because the hard drives have really good motors if you know how to run them. They, they use a weird um, BLC type motor, which I could get into detail about that, but they're basically high speed motors that drones would use. But if you're able to work out how to use those, yeah, you'd be gold. Do you mean like video games like in P PS3s that play games and movies type type thing? Or do you mean like the old ones where you actually like, they put the thing on and then it starts to play the music through this one thing? I don't know uh, which one, but I've got many, I just none of them are broken. Which yeah. is a sad thing. Hey, it's time for some sabotage. Yeah, uh, you're better, you're better off going to the tip. I wish I knew where a local tip was to me. Um, most of them deal in just purely scrap metal. So it's like, really hard to get. Actually, if you love seeing uh, seeing people fix up stuff from a junkyard, look into someone called the um, post-apocalyptic inventor. He's German, but he speaks pretty good English. But what he does is every week he goes down to his local tip yard and gets like a whole bunch of stuff and tries to fix it up and you know either uses it himself or gives it to his friends who might be starting up their own workshops. That sounds awesome. Ooh, that's actually good. No, so that he's actually inspired me to do this, if I had to be honest. Oh there we are, we have yeah, now kind of reminds me of K Diego on his job of fixing things. I can't hey Techie. So yeah, what's up? If you were to find an old broken down car that didn't look in too bad too, do you think you might be able to get it started again? Uh That was literally the story of my beetle. Yeah, it depends on a lot of things. I'd like it. Um I'd scrap it. Hey, take the parts. Like if it looked like it just arrived there, like it looked like it was brand new. No rust, yada yada yada. Yeah, probably. I mean, the problem with cars and that is, well, it's not necessarily the car itself, it's the brake system that would scare me the most, because of how delicate a brake system can be. I don't blame you. Now I got a robo snake. I'd just, I'd just, yeah. I'd, I'd just Thank scrap it, me. scrap it, and take all the parts and stuff and make hey, something Hey, maybe if you tried, maybe you could turn the rats around into a robo snake. That'd be awesome. Uh, people have tried. Uh, mm, you can turn it into like a Predacon. Make it into a Predacon. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> then we can call it the Predacon Snake. Is like all it names. I don't care what it's named. You know what? I might actually go on a project oh. making a Predacon. Cool. Yeah, I'll see what I can find on the, on the tip. Mm -hmm. Anything useful? Take it, scrap it, and make something. Yeah. Audio, I'm just gonna have to scan the internet for stuff. Right now. Yeah. I still can't That's believe how job. much hell we have to go through to get my freaking car to where it is now. Yeah, well, it doesn't work. God, from like day one there was problems. So, first off was actually getting the engine to run. We managed. And then the car shut down because what we didn't know at that point is some no, one had decided it would be a brilliant code word brilliant in quotations because it was the worst idea anyone could have ever decided to put two microscopic holes in the engine and not plug in. I don't know why somebody would do that. 
Probably to drain the engine of old oil or but, something. Okay. I don't know. Oh yeah, you want to know what color the oil was when it was coming out of the engine? It was white. Not the yeah. That's white. really really old. That implies really, really old, old and really corrosive. Tell me about it. I was kind of grossed out when I first saw it. But really? I was happy that the car had gotten started. And also, um, fact about VW Type One. There were only four bolts holding that engine in place. Yep. Here's how we know that. We had to take it out three times to fix it. <laughs> Talk about a crazy day with a beetle. <laughs> I no, didn't even transform into Bumblebee awesome. in the end. Beautiful. Yeah. Bumblebee's a beetle in the new movie from 2018. Yeah, actually, Bumblebee the movie. My beetle yeah, is bum bright yellow. They actually dubbed it Bumblebee. Well, Bumblebee originally what? was a beetle. In yeah, um, Transformers G1. Yeah, in the 79 beetle. Something else changed them back. Well, let's face it, yeah. Beetle looks nicer than whatever he became in the Bayformers movies. Became what? I Mero? actually kind of yeah. liked the Camaro, the 2007 one, I actually kind of liked it. I, I liked it when he was the run-down Camaro. I didn't like it when he turned into the brand new Camaro. I kind yeah, of like the, the new Camaro. Camaro and the old Camaro. I am so conflicted, I want to buy both cars, so I have the evolution of Bumblebee. Oh, I actually kind of like the Beetle because the Beetle form is really cute. He's, he's oh, really cute. Speaking of Camaros, um, my mechanic spikes. has one. The one who helped me with my Beetle, he has a 69 Camaro. So cute. Damn. And, and during when uh, we restarted the car so out near where I live, um, poor Dougie, my poor mechanic's car went from bad to worse in the span of a single day. <laughs> so first, so we drive it there. So Something goes wrong with the gas. He has to refill. Then, as he's backing it into place, the back fender catches on the back tire and bends it out of place. Fixes that. Then, just as he's leaving to go get breakfast, doesn't the freaking antifreeze explode all over his car in the white? Now, keep this in mind a white Corvette Stingray right next to him. So, yeah, antifreeze all over both cars. And then, not a week later, he decides to go take it for a spin. Doesn't turn on the first time. Second time, turns it on. The, the supercharged engine randomly just self-destructs. Okay, oh, so can you calm yourself down a bit, Mouth. You're getting a bit overexcited. Can I have it? Right, but can I, I felt it? so bad for my mechanic. And then, because at that point my beetle wasn't working, so I'm like, whatever yeah, possessed me, he's her possessed mine. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Eyes, so I can submit my own. Anyways, Bunky. I actually do have fixes if you guys would like to see. Maybe later, Bunky. Anyways, Bunky. I'm, I'm currently, I'm currently, you know, fist deep in a raptor. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep watching this raptor thing as I am getting mesmerized. So much electronics. Yeah. Electronics. Well, coding, check it out. Coding, There's two speakers coding, either side of its head. But, but they mount either side of the speaker there, which is kind of an odd configuration. Wouldn't that mean the microphone's picked up, picked up its roar? Hmm. Uh... I'm right next to a TV. I'm this close to breaking it. Just, it looks uh, really just cool. See what's that kind of reminds me of Grimlock. I can't come. Ah, there we go. Something breaks and then I'm gonna it's scrap it. Somehow, I don't know. Right. Anyway. There we are. I'm actually impressed anyway, that it has funky. so many disconnects, have... actually. Yeah, I'm listening, Scout. And also, Playing Kingdom Hearts. might be a bit off topic, but how about Yay. streams? Let's get back on topic. Because I can't do them on phones. Uh, I use and, the computer and bait. And I am about to, uh, I think, fight with Anita? I have like three computers in my. Is that a whistling kettle or somebody squealing? <laughs> Little that was me so angry. Oh, 
Calm down, Lil. Calm down. That's interesting. This circuit board has a bunch of blank spaces on it. Oh no, wait, those are wire connects. Okay, that's interesting. Cool. You know, I think you have a future in mechanics. Blue. Not really. I, I'm good at taking things apart. Not necessarily putting them back together. I mean, I build my own computer in that, but... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but you could be like a part Red seller. Oops. Oh, yeah, you can scrap. I mean, take I things apart, you sell the parts. True. I do want to get into fixing things though, mm -hmm. but you know, things that are actually yeah, worth I'm pretty... fixing or you know, repurposing. Nice. I get oh, so if you need any help with Coden, I will be the nice. my night. I like Coden, and I'm experienced in it. Sorry, the, um, the LEDs are in its nostrils, so its nose was meant to light Why? up. Okay. Like, the eyes I could understand, those lighting up. Eyes lighting up would be cool, but the nostrils lighting up, it's like... <laughs> no, <laughs> why? <laughs> Fire or something, or they, or they just screwed up the placement of the LEDs. That is just what it is. Oh, okay, Lil. Got some good news for ya. Might be able to show these if I can get them out. Okay, these are gonna be a little harder because they're actually glued in place. Oh, oh boy. Oh, Most okay. likely with super glue, I'm guessing. Now nah, some sort of, some sort of epoxy. So, not super glue. Mm. It's not a sign of that clay. Nah, if it was super glue, I could use acetone to get them out, but nah. Although, yeah. wouldn't that make for a really nice chess piece or something for a character? Down school. Anyway. Like you know, sometimes like taking things apart can actually give you more inspiration than putting something together. Now, mm -hmm. Lil, see these silver squares here? Let's see if we can Just do this. Yeah, I get to see them. They look like the things that... Oof, Jackie, what happened to your finger? Well, this. Oh, I, I had a bad scratch. It was just a bad scratch. It's just... I didn't think anyone wanted to see it on hey, stream. Man. But those two silver boxes, those are infrared receivers. Infrared. Ooh. Hey, maybe that could be the name for one of your new tabletop character, Infrared. Oh, wait, I already have an OC with that name. I'm an idiot. No, you're not, Bunky. But this still. I know, but you I was just idea. saying, like, it'd be kind of weird if we both had a character named Infrared and then they both met, because my character is supposed to be the daughter. Why not? Of there's Mag there's Megatronia, Megatronus, and Megatron. And Meg. Meg is. And Meg. And yes, Meg. Yes, but I like Meg. Yeah, Meg. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have Overlord, which is basically Megatron. Megatron on crack, you mean? No, well, that's Galvatron. <laughs> yeah, we're thinking of Galvatron. He's yeah, Galvatron. Crack. Galvatron. No, no. I am Galvatron. Oh. I have no spark. It's why I'm no longer afraid. Ha 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 ha. Tricycle Optimus Prime fails. Well, Optimus Prime keeps dying, but he keeps coming back. Why does and his reason? What? What? No. the reason they keep killing him? The reason they keep killing him is this is Optimus Prime's reason. Because I can come back. What happens when you die? Nothing. That, that's that's mm. that his reason. He keeps coming back. And then he gets revived by the power of necromancy. And then I just start smacking my head every time he dies and then comes back. Okay. There's, and there's I another the one. Um, should I? I wonder if I should tell them that this is a little off the topic. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not explaining anything right now, so... People discussing stuff is fine. It's when I turn around and go, Okay guys, I'm gonna talk about this transonic inducer. That's the point where I want people to stay on topic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get that. So, I get what's that. going on? Oh, um, nothing. By the way, in case anyone was wondering. Oh, no. It doesn't sound like 
you're a bit nauseous, Clover, to be honest. What are you talking about? Okay, you sound sad and you're depressed. Do you voice? I'm not. Yes, you okay, are, well, what's going on? Are no, you don't okay? be asking yes, sir. What's up? What do you mean? Well, in the world yeah, is term. common San Diego. <laughs> Please don't sing that song. Well, no, you were what singing it before. You sound depressed. Not anymore. You sound... Why are you saying? Go to... Why do you sound like you need sleep? I'll cure your depression. Kidney. Please, just search okay, Bezos Stank News and click the first it's one on YouTube. It's the the Olympics have been cancelled. I really wanted to see them this year. Uh, I hate you know. Olympics. Unless it's martial arts. Oh. I mean, I'm full martial arts, I just it's... hate Olympics. Just the people also, yeah, fighting I over who's best at the game. I have a Olympic games. I have a ball cap and pop a cap for you. I'm not a really big fan of freaking Olympics. Yeah, I kind of am because it's nice to see people striving to be the best they can be, rather than just settling for the best best they are. Go with that whole pushing yourself to the next limit. But not everyone is a genius. Not everyone is a good sportsman. But it's nice to see. Uh oh, Techie, I have a question. So, during the Sochi Olympic Games in Russia, did you ever hear of a team in the curling section called Team Jacobs? No, I don't actually pay attention to the Olympics all that much. Well, Team Jacobs is actually from where I'm from. They come from the same city I live in. Where is he though? BBB! Yeah. So I didn't know that was you talking, BBB. Like, oh. And they're from the exact same city I currently still live in. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah. No. Nice. A lot of light from my small town. Well, so... Okay. Oh, also... oh wait. Yes! Oh, yes. yes. The next come off! Huh? Yay! Yay! Okay, did I go? Here are my... Like, like, seriously. You did it. Even... You sound like me. Okay, so... How... No, I so... don't. <laughs> I feel like really? he's depressed. He needs to watch Bezos thank memes. <laughs> no, you know what? No, no, no. No, no you know what? I know what will cheer him up. His favorite movie, Rock Lords. No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. No, never mind. Okay. That's, I'm okay. I'm it okay. doesn't matter. Oh, fine. I'll put it on for you oh, right now. Baby. Okay. No, thank you. It doesn't matter. Yes, please. Yes. I'm okay. I'm okay. Sorry, I had to cough is, really bad. Are you alright, man? No. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my cough, so Why? I kind of had to get up again. I think you're tired. I know, Bunky. No, I know. Look, let's not draw attention to him. He doesn't want to talk about it. It's fine. Let's respect his... Okay, okay. Wait. So, uh, yeah, the, I need I some Energon coffee. I'm earlier. going to make myself some Energon, energon coffee. coffee. I don't want Energon I'm coffee. Saying I'm saying I'm going to ask. make myself <laughs> Energon coffee. It's you mine. Do. So, my parents went to the Garth Brooks concert in Detroit, and apparently, according to my mother, the entire study of where I currently live could fit inside that arena. <laughs> Like, that time it's the wow. or, and then match the exact population of where I come from, of my city. Damn. So wow. basically, if the, my entire city went down to the Garth Brooks concert, everyone would, everyone in my city would have gotten a seat. Probably not a good seat, though. That's how big the stadium was. Also, does anybody remember? Okay, I really don't like bringing up Bayformers, but. In the last night, they actually used an abandoned, uh, an abandoned, uh, eh, an abandoned stadium, the Pontiac Silverdome. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of the filming locations, which I thought was pretty awesome. I did. Because watch it's the time. Silverdome. And then oh, there's me you, going, why the you, heck you, haven't you, they you. tried to fix it? You, 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 yo. And I'll repeat to you. A chariot! A chariot! Oh, 
okay. Well, I got these um ball thingies that are covered in ball lube. joints. Ball joints covered in lube. Oh, this thing. Like well, let's see. It has a whole bunch of limit switches to tell how the neck is moving. Hey. Jeez, the guys who must have did all the electrical work must have had a field day with this thing. Ugh, yeah, probably not actually. Like, you'd be surprised at how much how much of this can be constructed by um, machines. But yeah, it's God. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, I wish I had a small electric screwdriver just to do most of this. Uh, I don't even have an electric screwdriver. You're lucky there, Techie. Well, actually, we both don't have an electric screwdriver. Uh, actually, I do, but I have a big electric screwdriver. It's kind of the size of a small drill. So it's very hard to get into narrow oh. places. That's why I don't like using it for taking things apart. I like using it for putting things uh -huh. together. Does yeah? Doesn't matter that much. If it's something that's a bit big. Just needs. Just having a drink of water. I'm kind of thirsty. Right. Ah. Ah. There we go. Guys, yeah, you know what would be awesome if the if transformers were real. That would be so cool. Yeah. If you say so, chaos uh, and everything in between. That it gave me an excuse to throw some insults at Starscream and call him an angry Burrito. Because in the big first build, he looks like a giant metal burrito. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever let that go. I don't think you ever will. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. Ah, there's a wire harness for the neck. I love keeping these because the wires are useful for projects. Well, what, 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 what kind of projects are we talking about? Any sort. Like, I'm planning on maybe recreating the robotic arm I got for Christmas, but doing it a, a bit more well, awesome. interesting. Yeah, well, apparently it only uses it DC makes... motors and such. So the robot arm is, like, for kind of... Like, it actually looks like a person's arm, except it's all robotic. No, 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 it's just be, it, it basically, it would look the exact same, it just have much better range of movement and be able to actually do very accurate motions, which could be useful oh, for baby. doing things like I was thinking what would be awesome if you did start tinkering around with that robot arm of yours. What if you made it into like something like you could actually put on your hand and use like a weapon, like a flamethrower? That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. If then you'd be a firebender, Techie. <laughs> oh, well, that's our last I'm so sorry. Wait, BBB, I have a question for you. Sir, what do you mean, time. wish Transformers were real? They are. I am one standing here right now. <laughs> yeah, I you mean, I have one right here, here Funky. Like Here's a transformer oh, for you. How dare you? Huh? No, I cannot you. transform into Bumblebee. I transform him into my beast form and a jet. That is actually the coolest sounding old mode ever. No, to do the old modes, a jet, and then my other one's a beast mode. Which is basically That's what I meant. That's uh, the coolest triple changer ever. Next to Scout Triple Changer, Phoenix. Wait, what? Because was... Phoenix could turn into a Phoenix and a jet. Oh <laughs> my brain. And I can my brain's focused on this battle. Creature thing, beast Thanks. and a jet as well. Okay, so guys, I do have a question. What is your favorite type of jet out there? Like any type, like from, like from what? From like, Does it have to be specific? Fighter jets. 
Okay, the dragons, yeah, yeah they are, you're obviously too depressed for this. Hey, Techie, what's your favorite Okay, Bunky, you're getting, a, you're getting a little too excited there, Bunky. Calm it down a bit. I'm, I'm having to use a razor blade at the moment, so I kind of need people to stay calm, stay relaxed. I don't need luck, I need skill. My one is a Duke. My one is a Douglas A Force Skyhawk. Oh, that sounds cool. My favorite type of jets are F-15 Eagles, F-16 Falcons, and the F and the F-18. Speaking of F-18, my like dad was lucky enough to do take off from the airport okay. near where I live. Where's my power so supply? There we go. So two F-18 fighter jets landed at my airport, and my dad got to see them take off. The only reason, the reason I like the awesome. the reason I like the Douglas A4 Skyhawk is because it kind of like my Lucy's <laughs> alt mode, just it doesn't have the wing on top of the other wing. Okay. Yeah, it has tons of things. Yeah. Just trying to work out what sort of gearing it has. Looks like it's just <laughs> simple worm gear. Yeah. Still could be useful. To be honest, that sounded more like you were using a mini bug saw, to be honest. I thought Please. that was a mini screwdriver. Please, yeah. if you want a mini buzz saw, you should see my little something. drill press. <laughs> I mean, okay, that sounds like a buzz saw. It's designed to be able to cut through, you know, drill through things, so, you know, oh look, I want this hole in this bit of plastic. Oh, I think okay. that's like it, it could be a gun turret. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, dear me. A gun turret. Yep, and the drill bit got stuck. Oh dear. What? Oh well, Rip I'll deal with it later. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, I just have to detach it, heat it up, and pull it through. Anyway. I'm going to make a machine that can make me coffee. They're called coffee They're machines. Co I know, but I have to make it myself to be personalized, and I don't have to pay it to make me coffee. I once played a character in a Transformers G.I. Joe Robotech game named Wrench, and her her coffee machine was actually made of a giant robot's leg and a jet turbine. <laughs> oh wow. Awesome! Ooh. Apparently, no one ever drunk her coffee because no one could understand how she could drink something that defied the laws of physics. Coffee should not stick to walls, coffee should not stick to the ceiling, and coffee should not burn holes in steel. Wrench, why are you drinking that? Wait, her coffee actually did that. Her coffee actually did that. In the Devil oh game. God, that is, that is awesome. That sounds Delicious. Intense. She liked her coffee. coffee. She was a she was I a cute character. She had a um, she had a birthmark on her cheek that looked like an oil stain. So I everyone, yeah, sand. Oddly enough, I don't drink coffee at all, and I'm 19. Holy moly, what is wrong with me? I'm 10 years old, and I drink coffee all the time. Skills that you're drunk. You're not in a drunk coffee. Yeah, little old ten. My energon coffee is delicious. I don't really like it. I like hot chocolate better. That's more my thing. I don't oh, like drinks. It's delicious. Ever he heard of mochas? It's a coffee mixed with hot chocolate and it's delicious. Yes, I have heard of mochas. And I, uh, my favorite. I prefer green tea, but I'll drink coffee on occasion. On that note. The only time you'll ever see me drinking uh -huh. coffee is if it's a French vanilla latte. No, oh. French vanilla cappuccino. Good. That's the only time you'll ever see make drink coffee. coffee. I really want a cappuccino. Coffee granules. How to make energy drink coffee? Oh. There we go. Milk. Egg. Some coffee granules. Boom. Mix them together. Boom. You've got yourself energy coffee. Uh. Then we can boil the energy drink before. 
I don't know what I did, but I hurt my back somehow. I think we all have those weird stories about how we've hurt ourselves in the past. The many times I really hurt myself is a bookshelf fell on my hip and I broke my leg like, muscle, my left arm. Oh, well, I'm fine now, but now I have this weird type of wall on the stairs. But it's like, I put my leg forward, and instead of putting my other leg forward, I just put it to the next level, the other leg. Oh, well, only enough for me, I uh, tripped over section. someone's chair when I was in public school, and I slid and smacked my face on a desk. And the next thing I know, uh, uh, there's blood. That was yeah, probably the most painful day happen. of my life. That sucks. Yeah, and I got the most the scar above my eyebrow. Ooh, damn. When I was young, <laughs> Alright, I'll get the rubber out for this, even though it's just a bunch of motors. Ever have to put this together, I have to do a feckin' lot. Like, seriously. I thought the UPS would be a harder maybe thing to make. Maybe you can make it sound like a rattlesnake and scare somebody that you really don't like. Yeah, I don't waste my energy hating people. I know, but it would be funny for a prank. How is someone being scared of prank? Such a web for memes. Okay. You have snakes, don't you? It's, it could be a snake prank. You will be like, oh, oh just I, I got really you. I better snakes in the prank house. Holes. Uh, the only snake where I live currently is a single garter snake. Oh, hey, the raccoon! There's a raccoon near my house. Hey. Hope it doesn't get to roadkill, because if it dies, people will eat it. No, it's been a tricky safe in town right now. I'm waiting for it. That's good. Are you okay? What Do you mind not dying on the screen? It's kind someone. of distracting. No, just stop my tongue. Have you tried not you streaming? You need me to kill the thing that stubbed your toe. Would you like me to kill the thing that stubbed your toe? Nah, she just needs to not stub her toe. To get a knife and kill <gasps> the What's the new toe? toe? Ah. <laughs> there we go. I shall kill yeah. I shall kill it. Tell us to beat it. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> yeah. Scout, are you going to get your friend's pain? Who? <laughs> 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 to make so you really <laughs> look funny. I just want the horse. I don't want this thing so sad. Because the horse is gonna be a reference. Reference gonna make me a whole. Yes, Benny. Yeah. Okay, calm down, guys. You're all getting a bit knackery. I'm calm. I'm just petting my rabbit. Okay. Oh, no idea what's going on. Apparently, I've pulled out a bit of flexible wire. I thought it would have something attached to it, but. Seems to just be a bit of wire. Weird. Okay, so oh, can... Becky? Yeah, what's up? My rabbit says hi. <laughs> I don't believe your rabbit Ash has the capacity to speak, but I appreciate the gesture. I know, but she's thinking hi. She's thinking to say hi to you. Are you sure she just doesn't want weed? Maybe that's why she's thinking hi. I don't even know. Oh, come on. There we go. Come on. There. We go. Right, we managed to separate out the tail itself. Get this pop out now. Which does Ooh. seem to have its own motor and its own button sensors, but I wonder what else is in there. I'm gonna have to cut that thing in half. I might be able to get the 4G thing. Yeah. You know that thing 
but you're pressing it, and then it has like, these <laughs> fires. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Actually, I need to get one of those. I might keep this thing intact, <laughs> honestly. Like, it sounds weird, but it has this nice back and forth. Oh no, there, these have been built. Doesn't that look a bit like a Five Nights at Freddy's face? <laughs> Yes, it doesn't look like this. You could actually kind of use that for like some sort of mouth or like gold or cage eggers. Probably. Blood it has. Recognition. I'm recording. I'm 1 1. It does have these massive springs in there, and that's what's making it fling itself forward again. So that's interesting. The gearboxes might be worth just keeping, but the rest of this is like it could be useful, but I could engineer this sort of stuff with 3D printing. So realistically, <laughs> you, know, you don't want to me. I'll use it. I'll use anything I can get. Yeah. Well, I wish there was a way of easily recycling ABS plastic. That's what most of this is. It's ABS plastic. The problem is it's a petroleum-based plastic, it. so it's... Nah, you can't melt it. It stinks. Basically, once it's been through a forming process, it, it one, will stink unless you use the right temperature. And even then, it will stink. And it will burn. So it'll be all... Yes, burn. Just fire. send anything you don't want to me. Just send it to me. I'll use it somehow in some sort of contraption. Random thing. Huh. Basically, I like the scraps. That's why I always use when someone gets a box of shoes, I take the box, make something random the box. I get the scraps, and I love the scraps. Are you sure you're not part scraplet? Gotta have the scrap! Gotta have the scraps! No, oh. scraplets actually eat it off the actual thing itself. I just yeah. wait until it gives it to me. I know, it's just a joke of a name. Attack! Tech for it. Also, welcome back to the Drago. Hello. Hello. That could be my new nickname, Scraplet. Yeah. What? I have many names. Oh, there we go. Okay. Don't really need that bit, but this could be very useful because this is a nice little um, worm gear. Basically, the motor spins that way, but the gearing makes it work at 90 degrees, which is really, really useful. Oh, can I help you a bit? I just want anything you don't want. I'll see what I can what I can do, but go remember, postage to from Australia to the UK is going to be hard these days, and it's not cheap. I remember sending Jetstream a um, DS back in the day, and it nearly cost as much as the DS itself. Ooh. Oh, um, yeah, it was. It must suck to be in Australia. Yeah, it does. But hey, we get we get pretty decent healthcare. We have Centrelink, and we have some of the most beautiful sunsets ever. Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, so you can move to Australia then. Wait, you can take pictures of them. We also get fire tornadoes, which honestly, as dangerous as they sound, don't they just sound badass? It's like, yeah, no, why are you late for work? Fire tornado, oh, well, it sounds like the name of a transformer. It's like, why were you late to work? Oh, the rain. Why were you late to work? Frickin' fire tornado, mate! <laughs> 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 but guys, do you want to know? This may be very, 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 very off topic, but that accent reminds me of Merida's accent from from Brave. And it does. Ralph Lake, it does. That she's actually mentioned and she speaks, and they can't understand her. This is what she says: I give my mummy a kick. She turns into a big bear. My power tries to do it. If that's not a pure mess, I don't know what it is. So her mother turned into a bear? And apparently they can't understand her. Really? Weird. Yeah, her mum turns into a bear doing some weird witch spell stuff and then she turns into a bear. 
Mother turns into a bear. A bear. A bear. What the hell's happening? So, oh, I know that sound. That's from freaking a clock. Um. Uh. Um, no, that's clock. a. It's a special clock. You remember that um clock in um the dinosaur thing where Andy, Andy and the dinosaurs, that little cartoon thing. It it's the same noise as that grand that grandfather clock he goes into and then time travels into another dimension with dinosaurs in it and it tells us about dinosaurs. I used to love that. Now I hate it because it's a complete rip off of the actual thing. Fair enough. I don't know what you're talking about, but hey. As long as you enjoyed it, that's the thing. Okay, so... I enjoyed it once, and now I hate it. Ah, mate, you'll enjoy it again. Yeah. Like, believe it or not, I watch a lot of children's cartoons, just because I like trying to work out what what they're trying to teach the kids now, and, you know, it's just kind of nice to see this bright-eyed innocence. There's something funny about watching, like, Mickey Mouse and the gang try and deal with this simple problem that you just sit there and go, I know how I would solve this, but honestly, I love seeing these guys just fool around and all that because it feels so innocent and light. I forget about the world and I get to enjoy the stupidity. If, if you like innocent things, don't go to Disney. Everyone dies in the movies, even in the kids' ones. Yeah. One stitch, one person dies. Of course they do. Hey, everyone dies, but... That still doesn't mean you can't have a happy Everyone ending. Dies, but they get killed. Yeah. Still doesn't mean you can't have a happy, happy ending. Endings, I know, but what's, what's Disney is supposed to be innocent. What about the part where it's freaking um what's her name now? Uh uh from Tangled. What's her name? Rapunzel? There you go, Rapunzel, and her mother tries to tie her up and tie her to a freaking brick wall and hide her. How is that innocence? Mate, I was talking about things like the silly Mickey Mouse Ju Disney Junior cartoons, not the movies. Oh, hey, yeah. I, I still like watch that. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started so... to hate it a long time ago. Oh, mate, you need to get back into it, because honestly, it's just fun to be a bit sarcastic. It's like, like, like oh, no, my favorite bit is when Mickey Mouse kind of goes, why don't we, you know, like, wait for you to answer, and I just love trying to come up with, like, the weirdest answers I can come up with. So do you think we should tell Minnie? Make a hot dog into a gun. Yeah. It's actually a weapon. It's actually a cake. Oh. It's actually a bomb. <laughs> it's a cake in the shape of a bomb. Use that to attack your enemies. <laughs> uh. No, but that would be actually hilarious. But yeah. Start screen to um Megatron. It's actually. Should we surprise Minnie today? <laughs> nah, I figured I'd just take her behind on the chair and have a good have a few rounds with her. That sounds great. <laughs> it's even better when you come up with something <laughs> random, and he's just like, that sounds great! <laughs> like, what should, should we do to get Mickey Mouse back? Nothing. That's great! <laughs> what should we do with Donald today? I don't know, drown him in the lake? That sounds like fun! <laughs> you just go and find what the joy- to save the village? Set the village on fire. That Set sounds it. great! <laughs> Set it oh, on dear. fire! None of that sounds great at all. That sounds like a Jetstream solution! I can imagine Jetstream sitting there for yeah. minutes and you're like. Fire is it. fun! Set it what do you want to do for fun? Fire? Set no. things on fire. That sounds great! Fire is not fun. Yes, it is. I like Actually, it. Oh, in the Dragon's I mean, Cage, fire is not fun. Uh, remember a few months, well, a month ago, we had those massive bushfires, and the dragon was near them. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, he's probably a little sensitive. Aren't fun. When I'm talking about flame. Oh, yeah. I like flames is because I like drawing them. Yeah, they're only really good enough. <laughs> 
I'm just sitting my button fire apparently in this game. Please don't talk about right. fire. Oh, what should we talk about in the dragon? How about motors? I, I, I said in the game. It, 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 okay. Uh, and I just died. Yay! Heartless everywhere. Oh dear, this is gonna be hard to take apart. Like, none of my screws actually, my screwdrivers actually are able to jail. You have to. Little trick. Technically, with these types of screwdrivers, the thing goes all the way in, right? But, if you're careful, you can put the bit in the hole and use the absolute tip of the edge of your screwdriver to grip and twist. It just gives you like an extra bit of length. Not much, but it saves you having to get an even longer screwdriver. I don't like everything now. Hey, you'll get over what? it. Why? I think he needs a nap or something. I'm fine. It, you don't sound fine. No, it's just playing techie. I'm going to draw a drawing that I've already seen. Oh, relax, Mandrago. It's kind of fun. Mandrago, you will like now. this painting. <laughs> Ever? Mm -hmm. And. Kind of told me that I cannot rely on Centrelink forever. Mate, I have housemates who have relied on it for over ten years. You'll be fine. They won't do it right. If they did it, they can't do it right away. That was an over exaggeration. To worry you. And well, it succeeded, but I don't like the fact that you're this worried. Mate, they can't do it to you right away. They have to give you at least a one year grace period. Unlike with me, where they only. Oh, mate, you'll be. In the trial, the Rapunzel. The other after Keyblade, which is Rapunzel's Keyblade. Woo! Me. You'll live, Mindrago, and honestly, we're in one of the better countries. I mean, we're not America. True. No healthcare, a joke of the social security um, system, and ha a massive housing crisis. Where over here, we have a massive unemployment crisis. You make it sound that didn't sound like a joke to me. It's... Yeah, well, it's all a joke. These are serious times, but the fact is. There's no reason why we can't have fun and laugh. If we don't laugh, then everything else, then, you know, the bad guys win. That's how it works. Ah, I've been in the hole. I should make it sound like if it doesn't matter if I laugh or not. It does matter. You know why? Because you're Nindraga. Well, that's all the reason you ever need. No, that's all the reason you'll ever need. You are Nindrago. What? Why? No one likes. No one likes that word or my name. Her name is fine. Yeah, I'm not too honestly wondering about the origins of it. Like Ninja Dragon, or did you like um, or to represent something like you know how Nine Inch Nails. Yo, N I N. Like you know, I actually wonder about that. It has nothing to do with names. No, but does it represent something, or do you just like ninjas? Are you a ninja dragon? That's pretty ninja. No, it's not. It's good. I love ninjas. You probably like ninjas. I, I mean. Then Drago, my name is literally Techie Guy. Do you think that represents anything? <laughs> I, I didn't even ask for that name. 
Jester and Jester, I'm going to call you Techie Guy from now on. <laughs> you are now Techie Guy. It is so bad that I've told Scout my other online handle. She still has trouble calling me yet. She keeps calling me Techie. It's the first name I get you memorized by. It's like, come on! That's not even the name I like! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, probably because no one's really gonna look into it, or if they do, they'll get some misleads. But my other online handle is Kit K I double T, as in Night Industries Two Thousand. I thought it was a reference to Night Rider. Okay. Yes, that is a reference to Knight Rider. Kit stands for Knight Industries 2000. K-I-T-T. Mm. Huh. Funny enough, I never heard of Knight Rider when I chose that name. I just really liked the name Kit. And, well, it kind of stuck. And then I watched Knight Rider, I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna keep this name because, well, unless people know what to look for, they're just gonna find references to Knight Rider. But no, no, Jester would have to be like, nope, you're a techie guy now. Live with it. No, I'm gonna call you quick. Nah, it's better to call me, it's better to call me, um, Techie on here, because this is my handle for these old videos, where for other things I go by kids. It, honestly, it's been like that for so long, it almost feels weird to have you guys call me anything else here. I mean, I tried it out with Scout, and honestly, her calling me that every so often, it's like, yeah. Calling me by my other online handle, it's like, oh yeah, that's right. She knows about that now. Um, yeah, that's weird. It's just oh, really because whenever people hear that name, hear my name, they all say, oh yeah, it's that annoying orange idiot. I just call you Quiver. Nice. I, just... I don't think you're an orange idiot. Yes, you do. I'm just that annoying orange idiot. Oh, I know. No, you're just now. quiver. Okay, stop. That's Guys, <laughs> stop for a second, okay? The dragon, please take a deep breath. I'm gonna tell you something important. Last week, I wanted to quit drawing. I felt like no one cared about anything I did. That I was just the person that they pitied. That they threw money at me because they pitied me. They didn't actually like me at all. They just hated the fact that I was always there and that hopefully if they gave me enough money I would just go away. I would just disappear. That I was nothing. And you know why I'm telling you this? Why? Because those are the exact thoughts you're having. You think no one cares about you? That, you know, if you disappear tomorrow, no one will care. If you vanish, exactly. then never. I care. <laughs> Don't tell me what I am and what I do. I care. I accepted your friend request. Do you know how many friend requests I have on this account alone? 21. Uh... How many? I've only accepted three friends in the server. You're one of them. Yeah, I know. It doesn't sound like big, big accolade or anything, but it matters to me. Why do you think I work so hard to try it? Why do you think I'm working so hard to try and help 
help fix your attitude in the server. Try and fix how people perceive you. Because there's something about you that's special. You stand out when no one else does. In your own way. And the problem is, you don't understand what that way is. So you get frustrated, you get angry, you just want to scream to the heavens! Why is anyone pitying me? Why do they put up with me? Why do they care? These are all dark thoughts that we all have, and right now you're having them. It sucks! And you know what? I could sit there and go get over it, princess, but... You're not. You're not gonna get over it. You're gonna be upset. You're probably right now thinking that I'm just lying to you just to shut you up. How the hell did you know? Because I've been through it. So, Nindrago, believe me or not, but I'm still gonna be here. I'm still gonna say hello, Nindrago, when you show up. I'm still going to enjoy the fact that you try and make me laugh. That you try and come up with these cute, weird little nicknames for for things like you're trying to annoy me or, or whatever. It's so much fun watching you actually try and come up with this stuff. It's hilarious. It's great. Like the fact that you even care about this stuff. It's just like, wow, really? Like as soon as Lil wanted to learn about infrared sensors and all that, you're like, okay, we need to call it like Techie teaches tech or. Or whatever, and you were trying to work out what it should be called in that immediately. You have this energy about you, this creativity about you. But you know what? That's also your downfall. Because you're so creative, you create ways in your head that people hate you. That you think people hate you. No, they don't. Your head is just being mean. If people hated you, they'd tell you to your freaking face. No one is polite. They'll bloody tell you. They'll go, Oi, mate. I'm fucking sick of ya. If someone hated you, <laughs> they tell you. But until they do, keep doing what you're doing. Because, honestly, if they're gonna hate you anyway, make them dread you. Be a force of nature in the world for once. Instead of letting nature pass you by. Because if you're going to be hated, earn the hate. So you're saying I should be a pest all the time? Mm. Hey, if that means you're going to be in the dragon all the time, awesome. So, Why are you even encouraging it? Because there's something special about you. That's it. Anyway, big transformer nerd, hey! We just took apart a Robo Raptor. And honestly, not really as much in here as I thought, but more than I expected, actually. I managed to get these um five gearbox motors, which I probably can use for other projects. A Rather cheap speaker, but speakers are always useful. Some microphones are floating around. And, oh, yeah, the control board. Which I'm hoping someone's, um, decoded online so I can maybe reprogram it and use it as a robot brain elsewhere. And Drago, you know I'll pass. There's something special inside you, and, you know, if no one believes you, then understand that I believe in you. You're annoying. So what? So is everyone. Everyone is annoying. Everyone is stupid. Everyone is irritating. But everyone, everyone is joyous. Everyone is special. Everyone is bright in their own ways. And the worst part is when they don't let themselves shine. You need to let yourself shine. So is that why you always be all like, oh, if you have, to, if you, if you always, if you think you can do it, then do it, and all that talk. Yeah, 
So do you think you can do it? Just, Frickin' do it! Just do it! <laughs> yeah, because, because if you don't do it, all you're doing is don't sitting- Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yeah, if all you do is sit around and complain that you, that you could do it, then you're not doing it. Isn't it better to fail than never to try at all? At least when you fail, you can turn around and go, Yeah, but at least I tried. As much as people make fun of you for it, you can turn around and go, Yeah, but at least I tried. At least I decided to, sh to shine when none of you could. And mate, as I said, you might believe me, or you might not. And right now, you're probably not going to believe me. Right now, you're looking for any excuse not to believe me. And you know what? That's fine. Because one day, it's going to get through to you. You're going to wake up and be like, Fruck. He's right. And I don't want to tell him to his face. God damn it, it's like you read my mind. Mate. Remember how we, how I said you were basically the bizarro version of me? Maybe you're more alike to me than you think. And so take it from someone who's ten years older than you. It does get better, but it's gonna be a bumpy fucking road. You know, you did just swear on YouTube, right? <laughs> As if this ch this thing was going to get monetized. I basically skeletonized a freaking robot. Live! Everyone <laughs> saw me do it! The blood is on my hands! <laughs> I don't see any blood. Oh, well. And a drum. That, that damn censorship. Oh. Damn, damn filters. Oh no. Filters. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> filters. But... It's invisible. The blood's invisible. But I feel it on my hands! I mean, it's... I mean, it was dead anyway, so... Well, it Wait, didn't have any batteries in it. Wait, does this count as necrophilia? Or, like, grave robbing? No. Well, no, no, no. It's medical Ooh. research. Oh. In med school, they use cadavers all the time. What's a cadaver? Well, cadaver is a dead body. <laughs> I thought that was a Pokemon. No, you think of cadaver. Oh. A cadaver is a dead body. It's why the killing curse, Abra Cadaver, actually translates to "Behold, a dead body." I'm not I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like. Oh my god, it's such a dreaded curse! It literally translates to BEHOLD A DEAD BODY! <laughs> well, while we're wow. at it... What the... Okay. Well, everything... Load... <gasps> Alrighty. Oh. I'm playing in the Monsters Inc. world. Yay! <laughs> Boo! Oh, wow, Mike Wazowski. Oh wait. Oh yeah. And there's also this anime uh, boy talking about light and darkness. But who cares? It's dis. Who cares? I'm living in dis. My Disney fantasies. Ooh. Oh yeah. Just ignore. Just ignore <laughs> all the anime stuff going on. No Actually, cares, if you look up Monsters Inc. on Disney Plus. They actually have the, um, the play now button covering up Mike Wazowski's face. <laughs> it's a running gag! It's, it's a, a running gag! It's a running gag, you know, like, he sees some, like, they get the magazine in where they're on the cover photo, and, you know, suddenly like, oh, Mike, I'm sorry, because the barcode is covering Mike's face, because he's so small. And Mike's just so excited, like, no, I'm on a magazine! Like, he doesn't care. The fact that it's <laughs> even on the magazine is awesome. Yeah, barely. 
Hey, he's still on it. There's more freaking three meters in here. Alrighty. I believe there was a, a GameStop magazine. <laughs> Mike Wazowski's face was covered. Yeah, it's just a running joke in the, um, the thing, but you, you just forget about it and then it pops up. It's like, oh yeah, that's right. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, that's right. That happens. Does anyone remember the sea cons? Sea cons. Sounds uh, cons. familiar. They are a group of Decepticon, uh, uh basically they're Decepticon Navy. They all turn into Ooh. monstrous fish people. Oh, right, are they in, um, Supergod Monster Force? They are in, correct. However, only, uh, Snap Turtle, uh, Snap Trap is sentient. The others are just drones. Ah. Yeah, it's like the first appearance of, of, um, Decepticons as drones. Yes, you could say they're like, uh, basically the first, Have you tried uh, not dying, Scout? <laughs> I don't know. But Have you tried not dying? Actually, Lindrago, do you mind grabbing me some information about the Seacons? Like, I'm looking for good drone designs, and honestly... Of course. Might not be I bad. The Seacons are... Also, the Seacons are getting new figures, uh, in, combi in a Combiner war style. Basically, a dying breath called Generation Selects. Uh, we actually do uh, six figures, and of course, all three, all six, all the limbs have a uh, have a secondary mode, a uh, gun mode. Ah, uh, so like the Technobots. Yes, it's technically uh, King Poseidon, or sorry, Piranacon. Also, is a kill still classified as a target master. Oh, neat. Let's see. It usually comprises of six members. The leader being Snap uh, Snap Trap, the Turtle Boy, Snap Trap. Oh, right. Let's see, uh, the clumsy and insecure Nautilator, who usually turns into the gun. Let's see, uh, let's see, the shark with arms is called Overbite, no related to Underbite. Yes, no relation to underbite. Overbite, not underbite. Okay. Uh, he is apparently very vicious. And likes to bite people. He's basically if Jaws was a robot. Oh, this might be interesting for some people. There's test pads on this remote control. See, for testing voltages and demo and all that. What's interesting is they covered up the actual serial number of the um, pad itself. That is somewhat interesting. Yeah. And yeah, again, wing. another glove top. Got him! Sea Wave, eh? Yeah. Sea Wing. He is the expert. He's basically the stealth fighter of the group who fights the uh, hide and shadowy. He's basically like an underwater ninja. Neat. Sure, of course, he's only got one weakness. You see, his optics are. Uh, you see, he doesn't like bright things because his optics are sensitive to light. So just flash a little flashlight on. Run away. Flashlight, run away, flashlight. Uh, let's see. Uh, Scalor is pretty much one of the most hated members due to him 
uh, smelling like a, smelling like rotten fish. Oh. Yeah, That's he's trying good. to. Yeah, he's trying to, trying to break a world record by being the stinkiest Decepticon there is. Well, he's gonna have some competition. Yes. Yeah, he's trying to like beat Blot's record of being. Uh, like he hasn't showered since the day he was born. Oh. That's how stinky he is. I unhygienic. Ah, oh. oh, come on, you. Ah, oh. come here, blimey, limey. Come on, get here. Yeah. Come here, beautiful. I want it. Yeah. And then there's Tentacule, the who is very deceptive. He he makes seem like a very nice person. He just takes you out for dinner, dancing, movies. And all that, but the moment you lower your guard, uh, he will basically destroy you. The moment you lower your guard. Uh, damn, broke it. So I managed to break something, but that's okay. It's like one of the cheapest parts. Hello, and you still around? These six. Hi. Yeah. And of course, these six members can merge to form Veronicon, or the King Poseidon from Japan. This is an IR LED. It looks like a normal LED, but usually they're black in color, and they emit an infrared light. Infrared is what? actually invisible. Anyway, yeah. Wait, King Poseidon... Why is it called infrared if it's... like, wouldn't it be colored red, like in G1? <laughs> Infrared chance means that it's in in the red wavelength. Oh. So Hello, guy. color has wavelengths to it. Has, sorry, colors have wavelengths. Wavelengths are depicted in particular colors. So blue is like a very dense wavelength, where red is a very light wavelength. Yes. And then there's their combined form, Baranaka, or King Poseidon, whichever you, whichever you prefer. Okay. To put it simply, he's as dumb as Bruticus, but as vicious as Abominus. Drago, can you do me a favor? What is it? I need the. Do you know your preferred pick? I need some fan arts. I need art, reference art, so I can make fan art, because, yeah. For what reason? Because I need to draw you, because I need to draw every single character, because it helps me with drawing. Okay. Now, yes, basically, Piranacon is so vicious that you just point him at something and he'll just destroy it. But there's just one small problem. He will destroy everything, including his own teammates. Uh, Fair enough. Yes. Negatron thought of this, so he decided to put a 30 minute time. He decided to put an automatic timer on Piranicon. Basically, Piranicon will not stop until he either gets destroyed or runs out of power. Mm. So, Megatron put a little, uh, an automatic timer into him, which basically he, you know, basically it's set to 30 minutes, and once that 30 minutes is up, Veronicon will disassemble and go into stasis lock. Hmm. And still retrieve it. Anyway, that is actually really interesting. But I need to wrap up this because I'm really freaking tired now. Um. Oh. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Like, I, I appreciate that and that's a lot for me to take in, but that's cool. Anyway, Lil, yes. just as a heads up, when you're working with IR LEDs, some cameras do not have an infrared filter. Now, you see, this is a little remote. Okay? For a little HDMI switcher. Now, my camera doesn't oh, have an I IR LED. But if you press no, button... You said you... Oh. See? Oh, links. Exactly. But well, you don't you see this... Which, which, picture, which picture did you want? Quiver or me? Quiver. I need some fun out. Okay, I will message you uh, my image, my 2012, uh, my 2020 self. 
The first image I made of Quiver was in 2016. Oh shit, Techie. Is that a uh, robotic animation? If it is, I'm gonna do that. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Is that the, is, are you taking apart a robotic dinosaur? Because if it is, I had the exact same uh, the exact same one. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the stream here, guys, because <laughs> I've now taken things apart. I need to make dinner, and it's already really, really late. Yes, and I need to record another episode of TFB on TME. Hey, sounds good. Okie dokie. You'll do better this time. Right. Always strive to do better. But, there. Yeah, our haul today has been actually a bunch of gearbox motors, which is kind of interesting. A, a brain. A um, brain. A brain. A bunch of LEDs, a red which, brain. you know, might actually be useful, Yay. So, I I'm just going hope... to stop making something for the past few months now. I'm going to stop mm. making something random scrap I can find everywhere. Because people just dump random things in the moggy and I'm just like walking and I find stuff like mine and make something out of it. So yeah. Sounds good. That's kind of like me. And I have lots of storage. I've got random things in this one drawer and it's just from things to yeah. salt grains. Breaking news, random orange boys boxes. shooting lasers at Science Boy. Oh, in other news, what? Purple Seeker has set fire to local town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what she's gotten up to today. Like, yes. Hmm? The first part was actually what happened in the RP channel, you know, uh, a long time ago. Like a month, guys... like a few months ago. What are you guys doing? Oh yeah, I was just explaining uh, Quiver Miss Prime and uh, Micron's fight. Okay. Hi. Anyways, I'm going. Piece, I tell ya. Yeah, you heading out, Scout? I'm going to try to fight this boss kid. Just going oh, to fight, boss, right. fight this boss character. Damn, can't seem to turn on the LED. Either oh. way, we got it's LEDs. Actually, we got brains. actually a transformer named Boss. Oh. Doesn't that sound that anything way. like this, which is a shame. Yeah, he's only a turbo master. The first guy to ever have light piping. And the weapons are their engines. Yeah. Oh. I actually have nice. I have one of those, you see. The dragon, when I asked you about the turbo masters, it was for a show idea I had where I would take a transformer that was broken. I try and fix it up using 3D printing and just general restoration stuff, but may I see? Yeah. Uh, I I had to clean up for my um for my rent inspection, so it's somewhere. I'll find it later, but uh, yeah, I, I was always wondering what was like missing in the that. front. I would like to, I would like to see that though. Yeah, well, I was wondering what the heck was missing in the front, and then you post up those pictures. I was like. Oh, so that's what it was! Oh, that's annoying. That That's just its gimmick. Oh. Wait, which one did you have? Uh, it was the car one, I think. Car one? Hmm. Uh, that's gonna be a lot. Car, blue, red eyes, I think? Let's see. <laughs> red or green? I don't remember. Uh, they all have pink eyes, so... Oh, no, that's right, so yeah, would have been... well. But it was a blue car, um, the engine thing, whatever, went in the front. Uh, I do believe you're talking about Boss. Oh god, I had the leader. Ugh. No, he's not the leader, he's second in command. Then why the heck is he called Boss? like this, if you... If you look at me, does he look anything like this? Uh, give me a second, I'll look at the DC. Uh, yes, that's basically him. Oh, so it is boss. Oof. I don't like him already. Anyway, I need to close out my stream, guys, so... Uh, I know. 
Like and subscribe for more content. Like and subscribe remember, for by, more remember content. by controlling the web, the web. stream is one step closer to controlling the world and transmission. Okay, for some more reason, the like and subscribe thing was um, turned up to full volume, so Jetstream has probably talked over us in that. Her uh, pre-recorded thing. Uh, yeah, whatever. We all had fun. Goodbye, everybody! Yeah, I went to